So now, we're going to talk about Anna, part two. I left off at Chaos Judgment Stance. Unfortunately, I don't have an RB Norway. I don't know if they've updated for Tekken 7 yet. So I, I don't use that on the side. I'm going to have to rely on Tekken Bot and good old-fashioned testing. Uh, there's some stuff that I missed since last time that I've seen shared on Twitter that I'm going to share here right now. But just to show you guys where I left off, which is all up in the YouTube if you scroll down. I upload this, uh, these archives to the YouTube, typically. I went through all of this up to here. So, we'll be starting with Chaos Judgment again. Reminder, Double Slap is her 15 frame situational punish. If you're fighting against uh, any female character, apparently except for Katarina, according to what I hear, this is not a true punisher. This would be her 15 frame punisher though, in most instances. And the deal here is, you get a free down back three. But why does it not work against females typically? Well, it's a little weird. The timing on this is a little weird. It's almost like a just frame, but. All right, you gotta get hit. When you get hit by the first hit, you could slap her back. But the timing is weird. You can't really mash it out. There it is. Yeah, see, you have to, like, time it perfectly to get the, the inter to interrupt her. You interrupt her, and you do the exact same move back to her. There it is. And the thing is, she can do it back to you. So, it's weird. If she does this to you, and she has the life lead, and you keep challenging it on her, you could go back and forth until she kills you. <laughs> so, you, you kind of don't want... That's what I mean by situational. It's weird. So, that's, it's a weird old Easter egg, but they turn this into like an actual useful move to a certain extent because it's her 15 frame Punisher now. And I don't think she got a guaranteed uh, mudslide before down back three. But now she does. And apparently on uh, Panda and Kuma, uh, you get a full juggle off of this when it lands. Another thing. This move. One thing I didn't talk about last time because I didn't know it. The way this move works is on, it's plus on block. Plus one, I think. Plus five on hit. But there's no damage on hit. And then on counter hit, it's plus 19. So she gets a, a juggle. Nope. I forget what the easy pickup is. But that's a harder one. Yeah, there it is. So, uh, that's an easier launch pickup, I think. I don't remember what it is right now. Down forward two doesn't reach, right? Yeah, no, unless they're near the wall, down forward two doesn't reach. Um, so the thing is, it's plus 19. So what I saw on Twitter is, when she's in Chaos Judgment Stance, uh, and you do that move out of it, which I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do that move out of it. Anybody know how to do that move? No, I'm talking about juggle starter. Forward four is what you do is easy mode. You don't want fucking forward four when you got a juggle starter. Why would you do forward four when you could launch? Just get good at doing forward four three. There, and then you get a launcher. You're gonna do you're gonna do what? 28 damage instead of launching them. Also, you know you can just do that ass. Um, what I saw someone share on Twitter is. Um, I don't know how to do it, but there was a Twitter thing that said that if you're in Chaos Judgment and you do that shit out of it, which I don't know how to do, and I'm trying to figure it out. If somebody knows, feel free to let me know. You get better frame data. How the fuck did that guy do it? <laughs> um, if it is, how come she's not doing it? She's doing a grab instead. I'm like, oh, wow. It's weird. Okay. There it is. Yeah, you can already see. Plus 10. Plus 10. Plus 5. But I'm, ha I'm getting grabs. You know what it is? You got to press it at the same time. There it is. You got to press it like just frame style at the same time.
Oh my god. Plus 24. There you go. Plus 24. I'm pretty sure the bot is right about it this time. Yeah, it's like electric. You have to press the down forward one at the same time. Otherwise, what happens is she goes to crouch dash. Because down forward takes her to crouch dash. And if you're committed to crouch dash, you're, you can't input down forward one plus two. So it's like electric. You got to input it like a just frame. So, I mean, this is a 15 frame mid. This is uh, one of the things second bot is wrong about. Because second bot is showing it as an 11 frame mid. Which is bullshit. This is a 15 frame mid. So, um, I don't know if there's any chaos judgment transitions that she gets a full on frame trap with it. But... Uh, if she gets them to commit to something crazy and slow, that could be really useful. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, it makes this easier, right? Maybe it's just 4 4 3. Yeah, it's just 4 4 3, not 4 4 3 4. 4 4 3. That's guaranteed. Oh no. Let's get used to it real quick again. There it is. 71, uh, 80, <laughs> 81, 84 damage. All right, cool. All right, so reminder, Chaos Judgment Stance. There's transitions into it, or you can just go into it in a neutral with back three. Once again, you see her lift her leg and show you her cooter like this, right? When she's in the stance, you cannot grab her. You cannot grab her. Repeat after me. You cannot grab her. The other thing you can't do to her is hit her with lows in this stance unless they uh, follow the anti-reversal rules, which is to say if it's a low elbow, a low headbutt, a low shoulder, fangs quarter circle forward one, a low knee, knock this is a roll into the slide, which you shouldn't be doing in this situation, but you know, just as an example. It does not beat those lows, but any other low she will automatically hop kick it if you try to hit her low. And then, out of the stance, if you press down forward, she goes into a cross dash, which goes under highs. And she also has a built-in high crush out of that. Low, low. Low, high. Low, low. Low, high string. Natural combo. So, basically, she has tools to beat highs, lows, and throws. She doesn't have tools to beat mids, and she cannot instantly block in that stance. She has to cancel. Uh, she can't and she can't cancel the normal way, so she has to like crouch dash cancel like dragon off kind of I think No, I don't think she I don't even think she could do that No, she can't she she does a full cross dash You can't cancel out of her cross dash. You're committing to it. Interesting. I think Nina's like that too. I'm not sure So you're stuck you have to commit That's plus eight good. I forgot I went over that last time so I forgot uh, so let's go over the Chaos Judgment stuff now. Yeah, 2-3 on a hit, which is her 10-frame punish. That's her best way to, uh, one of her best ways to go into the stance. She has other ways to go into it, too, that are half decent. For example, uh, this, I believe, is plus one. The down four cancel. Yeah, plus one. And she has a 10 frame option with it with her two with her two or two one string. So her two best ways to go into it to like force mix ups uh, with some advantage is down four, uh, one, and then you hold back and you cancel out of the one. And uh, two, three on hit, your jab punish on hit. On block, I believe it was uh, we t I tested it and we figured out it was negative three on block. This on block is negative three. So in most other instances, when you go into that stance, you're kind of out of strings. You're relying on them hesitating for one reason or the other. For example, that. You're relying on them to hesitate more than you are anything else. On hit, you might get frame advantage. I don't know. But who's just like doing this raw on hit and counting on it hitting and then confirming? You're not going to really see that much. See? She's not a frame match even on hit. So she's relying on, you know, these strings, or the size, or the sidestep cancel, fooling, 
fooling the opponent to stopping them into pressing buttons, and then you could force the mix up into whatever. Right. So, now that we got that out of the way, we know the properties of Chaos Judgment. We know the general ways to go into it. We know the best ways are 2 3 back and down 4 1 back, right? Let's talk about the actual options out of Chaos Judgment. Infernal Storm. So, this is a counter hit tool. 11 frames. Oh, she doesn't need counter hit on normal hit. Normal hit, she's plus 15, and it's a true plus 15. It's not the guardable kind. So she could link her ass. She could link that ass. And it's guaranteed on normal hit. On block. It is a high, by the way. It's negative nine. So it is safe. It does a little bit of push out, but you still got to deal with their mix-up. Negative nine is, uh, you know, if they swing, you got to deal with it. <sighs> Not much has to say about that. Let's see uh, how they can step it. I'm going to test stepping this stuff at negative one. I'm going to let her hit me with down four. And then I'm going to try to into the transition. And then I'm going to try to step it. Ooh, that's bad. I can't really backdash it. I'm a, oh, she's one of those, huh? Let me see at the tip. Nope, she can't really backdash it. But she could sidestep the holy fuck out of it, so. Alright. So it's very linear. Oh, by the way. The Anna's general weak side is her right side. Your left side if you're going against Anna. She has very few options to deal with you sidestepping to her right side. So far, I haven't gone through the Chaos Judgment stuff, obviously, and I have not gone through uh, her while standing stuff, which is gonna you're going to have to deal with a lot when you find this character because she has a full crouch mix-up. So, we'll get, into, we'll get into that. But as far as her standing in the neutral, you could sidestep left all fucking day to your left. And she generally has weak options to deal with that. All right, so... I think this was like her best option. Which is still mid high. Or sorry, mid mid but unsafe. Yeah, see? But it's uh negative eleven, so it is unsafe and you can step guard it because it is slow enough. Oh wow! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot what it was. I found it out last time when I was doing part one. And that was a week ago. I found some move that was alright. Okay, so anyway. Uh, double Rapier. This is her 10 frame option out of Chaos Judgment. <clears throat> alright, so it is a natural combo. It is high mid, which is nice. Plus four on hits. Uh, nice little chunk of damage. 22 damage. The two by itself is negative 13. Yikes. It is negative 7 if you do both hits. Sorry. No counter hit properties on the mid. Right, I was just double checking counter hit properties on the high, on the one also. So this is this, uh, you kind of want to commit to this. Doing the first hit is not good. Negative 13 is bad. Let's see how this tracks. Oop, wrong button. By the way, it's one thing I forgot to check. Okay. So if you go to your right, the second hit will, uh, unless you walk, the second hit will uh, follow you. So if you just step. But if you go left, depending on your character. By the way, in case you're wondering how Anna's sidestepping is, she's about average on sidestepping. Wow, why am I having trouble now? Hmm. Ooh, I'm jumping now. <sighs> um, let me see something here real quick. Ah, 
<laughs> I wanted to see if she got anything better on the exchange. She might, but the spacing is not great. Because you get still, you still get stuck in that block stun, that hit stun, excuse me, and you jab her out of her own recovery. So, what's going on, Cross? What's up, Don Lee? Yeah, SCR was tight. What's going on, Frozen Zerker? What's going on, everybody? SCR was really good. That one round of Naps versus, um, what was it, Joey Fury, I think? That was just like this one round where Naps just blocked fucking everything. It was crazy. I mean, there was a couple of rounds where everything got blocked, but there was one round specifically where I was like, oh, I can't believe he blocked all this shit. Sorry, little parts today. Okay, so nothing too special about her 2 1. It's just a quick way to get some jab style damage, jab spring style damage. And it is her fastest option out of Chaos Judgment. Next, Chaos Judgment 3. Ah, this one. The, once upon a time in Tekken DR, her wall combo that did a shitload of damage was. Um, it's a that. And uh, that used to be one of the hardest hitting wall combos in the game. In DR. Uh, I don't know if she ever used that in Tekken 6 or Tag 2. But yeah. Uh, this mid heel kick is a counter hit tool, I think. Yep. Counter hit juggle starter. Corner Tekken bot comes out of 12 frames. We'll see if that's true soon enough. Um, we verified that the 1, the 11 frame high, is 11 frames. And we verified that the down 4 is plus 1. Because the down 4, 1 transition exchange with my jab. So we, we, we could feel confident that Tekken bot is right about that. But is it right about that being 12 frames? This uh, kick, mid kick? Let's see. We're going to see if she exchanges with my 13 frame mid here. Oh, I got to hold back, not forward. Oh, it beat me out. Hmm. Plus two? Or is it a... Uh, that's not an 11 frame mid. Hmm. Something's up here. Maybe it's plus two. Let me see this again. No, that's not right. Unless the high is 12 frames. And it's, uh, and Tekaba is wrong about that. Either this high is 12 frames, or the mid is 11 frames. Why should I press 4? I'm verifying it. If she hits me with the low and goes into this 11 frame high, and I'm exchanging with her, that means she's plus 1, if that high is really 11 frames. Right? But if she does a 12 frame mid, oh yeah, <laughs> you got me, you got me, you got me, you got me, sorry, you got me, I had it backwards in my head. Alright, sorry about that, <laughs> I'm clearly not all here today, I already did four. But well, we already we already know four exchanged. I'm pressing four like an idiot. Every once in a while, I'll make a mistake like this. I'm only human, right? Okay, so yeah, that is twelve frames. Um, depending on what she exchanges, though, she won't get a follow up. And on block. I think this one's unsafe. Negative 12, right? Okay, and you can go to your left. Once again, even in this stance so far, we want to go left. If you go right, it catches you. On regular hit, she's plus 3 according to this. Negative 12. That's... No, that's not a punish. What's your 12 frame punish? Uh, that's 10... That's 14. I 
forgot where a 12 frame punish is, but whatever. There it is. No, that's 14 also. And that's a shitty block punisher, I know that. So yeah, we want to go left. This is the low that starts juggles on normal hit, right? Okay, so the rule here, all right, so check this out. I talked about this a lot during part one because of uh, this, right? Because of that. So what's going on here is anytime you recover crouching and with these juggles, like these juggle starters that where she recovers crouching, to pick up with down 4-1, you want to input it as down forward 4-1. You cannot do that if she recovers standing because you're going to get wine opener. But if she covers crouching, you're going to get down down four from crouching, but she's going to move forward. It's the same thing as lead jazz. When you hold forward and press 1-2 to add jab range, same thing is going on here. So, I don't know if this is the only pickup off of this, but it is one pickup. Right? See? It's a whatever the hell the best juggle is. I'm sure she could get that, right? Oh, he whiffed. Well, whatever the hell the best juggle is off of it, that's uh, generally how you pick up. Now, does she have any better pickups off of it? I don't know. Maybe maybe bears could get hit by some stupid shit. But in general, that's going to be a reliable pickup. And they do that on purpose because they want you to do really weak damage on the first few hits post launch to fuck with your damage skilling so you don't get a ton of damage. Of course, that doesn't stop this shit from hurting. That shit still hurts like crazy. Anyway, uh, this is a 27 frame low, just like Mudslide. The exact same shit going on here, basically. Let's see how it tracks. My guess is it's gonna catch step, but not walk. Let's see if I'm right. I didn't even move. Oh. Huh. Alright. You can go right. You can go right. Nice. I would still rather go left and then duck so far. So far, that would be the best way to beat out every option. Ooh, that's a weird situation. You're going to launch her at a weird angle if you do that, though. So you got to be ready for it. All right, so we know it starts juggles on normal hit. There's not much else to know about this. It's slow, so you're not gonna frame trap into it. Really? I mean, I guess, I guess you can off of this. If I try to crouch jab. No, no, no. 17 frames. What the fuck am I saying? No, 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 no. Yeah, there's no frame trapping into that low. That's there to blow people up for pressing highs, or just people who just are bad at seeing it, like me. I'll get hit by that all day. Had a call. All right, this is her fast mid option. Fat, well, not that fast. Not as fast as the kick, but I think this is her safe on block mid with counter hit properties. If I'm not mistaken, let's see. All right, plus six, plus six. No counter hit properties, huh? Interesting. It's only negative four, though. And she recovers crouching. So if she does hit this, this is one of her ways to go uh, into her full crouch mix-up with frame advantage. This is probably her one of her better ways, too. As far as, like, your post-hit situation. On block, you're not going to force the mix-up, but the spacing is pretty good. You can backdash, bait whiffs. Her down forward two range is good enough to really whiff punish a lot of things. So you got to keep that locked and loaded. Right? So if you're like, um, like, for example, if I come up with a wall standing four, right? <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see how this looks. Oh, not quite. Oh, caught her. She has an unusual wall standing screen. How about a sidestep? Actually, you would have sidestep down for it, so you would sidestep one plus two, but for example's sake, let's do it that way. 
Wait, what? Oh, wrong move. <laughs> There you go. See? Negative four is not the end of the world, especially with that kind of spacing. Now, I don't know for a while standing one tracks. Nope, they don't. She got slapped right in the fucking face. What's up, Milo? Let me find out about Don 4 one like a week ago. I thought that was a lot more going on with Full Crouch Don Forward 2. Oh. <laughs> nah, it's actually straightforward, thankfully. It's not a hard ass pickup. Not as hard as I thought it would be. Alright, so I didn't test the tracking on this, right? Oh boy, look at that. Oh, look at that. It covers her left side. Okay, so she has like a mix of moves here. But the low is too slow. So, I don't know how I feel about it yet. We gotta look at the other low, which I'm sure is next, right? It sure is. Now, I'm pretty sure you could input this as down 3-3, three, three, but, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, you can even put it as down forward 3-3, three, three, I think. No, no, you can't do that. <laughs> That's crouch dash for a 3, which actually came out quite seamlessly. What happened to my music? How dare you stop my music? Why did you auto pause? Weird. YouTube is weird. Um, okay, wow. If you input down forward and then you press a button like right after, like down forward tilde and then another button, right? <laughs> Instead of plus button, you'll really like seamlessly go into her cross dash. Like you can get moves to come out of this shit really fast. It almost come, looks like it's coming out of the stance because it kind of is. Um, I don't know how, what that is in reg you know, I don't know how good that is in regards to situations, for example, like this on hit. Like, you could probably force that. I should test that, right? Let's see. You could force that as a frame trap. I'm sure you can. I mean, this isn't new. This is old Anna shit. A lot of this is old Anna shit. She's mostly the same. I've just never really looked at her stuff like this. Oh, too slow. Alright, that's still a little slow, but let's see how it looks. I'm gonna let her hit me. See? That beat out 13 frames. 13 frame mid. Not jabs, though. You might be able to time this to beat out jabs. And that's a scary move to have as a frame trap to go into. Because on block, it's plus, And on counter hit, she gets a launch. Ah, I got it to exchange with jabs. You might be able to get it to uh, beat out jabs if you are smooth with your inputs. So you're going to want to practice that as an Ana player. For sure. Oh, she's plus five. They gave Nina a bootleg version of that. By changing Nina's quarter circle forward one, it's even the same input. But I don't think it's as good on block. I think it's plus four, plus three. It's been a while. All right, so down back three, three. AKA down 3 3. Ba -ba -ba. Alright, so RB Norway says the low comes out at 15 frames. Uh, 14 frame mid, 14 frame mid, 14 frame mid. Ass? Ass, okay. Yes, that is a 15 frame low. Unseeable, which is good because. It's quite annoying. It's a lot like Huanong's down 3-4 and that it pushes you out a lot, but she's at plus 7. Huanong, I think, is plus 8. So, it's very good, but it is low high. So, it's one of those. Um, and look at that. In the case of Anna, at least, the startup of her while standing kind of keeps her crouching. Oh, wow. It looks like this might have been like this before. It looks like if you block the low and press a button... You're automatically going to duck the high. That's interesting. It might have always been like this. Ooh. Just the way the, the high comes out, the speed. Like, you're still in a uh, block stun from the low while she whiffs the high. That's good. That means if she does, does the low by itself, you could probably still get a launcher. No matter what. Oops. Mashing. 
Let's see how bad the low is by itself. Negative 11. Never mind. Never mind. Wow. They actually made it that way. Usually, it's, that's not the case. I'm kind of shocked. This is probably how it always was, but I feel like this is an outdated prop move property. Like, they don't want this kind of thing happening anymore, but they kept it for this. Right? Alright, well, no counter hit properties on the low by itself, and the damage is very shitty. So it's not that big a deal. Even on hit, the low by itself, not that big a deal. Not that big a deal at all. Alright, so you want to see how it tracks. Yeah, the low is probably going to track both sides, right? That's a common thing. So yeah, you you kind of have to deal with this mix of you can't step. I don't see a I don't see like a s OS solution that deals with the stance options completely, like with other stances, right? There's no real OS here. There's only OSs to deal with a handful of the options, like the highs and the low. But you still have to worry about the mid, which mid that she you know which mid she does, which way you step. I would still step into low parry though. In general. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't you don't need to leave me out of the other frame date. It's alright. So anyway, this is good damage. Like I said, plus seven. Um there's no real way to see it on block. You're stuck in guard while she whiffs the second hit. So if you block and she commits to the second hit, you're gonna get your launcher, for sure. But if she only does the first hit, you're not going to get much of anything at all. Which, I don't think you're going to see Ana players only do the first hit, to be honest with you. All the damage is in that second hit. I know this is used in certain juggles, too. I don't know if it's ideal to use it in juggles. But I have seen it used in certain juggles, for sure. Uh, yeah. That's about all there is to say about this. Thing. And it tracks very well, like a lot of other lows. Alright, Strix. Up forward this is the same hot kick that she auto low crushes with. You could input it manually as up forward four. Uh, comes out of 15 frames. Negative 14. Worse than usual hot kicks though. Two frames worse. One frame worse, sorry. Whoop. Oh, side step cancel back accident. Too slow. There it is. So yeah, definitely 15 frames. Definitely negative uh, whatever. Yeah, definitely negative 14. Definitely Lanier. You floater. Okay. And then she has the roll, if you double tap forward during the stance, with two options attached to it. The roll, I think, recovers crouching. Yeah, the roll recovers crouching. There's no way to cancel it. You have to do that full roll. And then uh, out of the roll, you have this three option, which is a normal hit juggle starter. I don't know what the best pickup off of this would be. Ah. Uh -uh. Too slow. Damn it, I delayed it too much. <laughs> I'll get it. Damn it, 69 plus 13 it would be. You gotta get a deep enough dash so that second kick delayed doesn't whiff. That's typically her best juggle lender without walls. Because the uh, if you delay this... That kick hits some guaranteed, and the scaling gets reset. And it always does, I think, 13 damage or 14 or something like that. 
All right, and then she has this uh, other kick. The high. Isn't that Frost Needle? Okay, well, it has a different name, but it looks just like Frost Needle. It looks like the same kick. Whatever. Negative 11 for the mid. Plus 7. It's Frost Needle. Why give it a different name? It's fucking Frost Needle. Plus 7 on block. Just like Frost Needle. Stupid. Stupid. Alright, this might low profile some mids. 4 3 pack. Wait, 4 4. Wait, 4 4. Huh. Well, whatever. I mean, you know, if you're worried about Flash, that's like a very specific matchup to worry about. I want to, you know, you don't have to worry about that in most matchups. That's like worrying about Akuma DPing you, you know? It's like, yeah, that's one character, you know? There's gonna be other ways to beat shit like this. Oops. Oh my god, I'm I keep pressing forward because I was just looking at Huarong earlier. So, I don't think tracking is going to be a thing here. Oh! Right when I say it. <laughs> you have to walk it. Alright. You have to walk it left. Alright, let's see if it goes under mids. Okay, good. <laughs> At least Anna's down forward one floats it. That will be some bullshit, because then the Chaos Judgment already beats so many other things. Alright. It looks like it's pretty easy to float. Let me see if I delay it a little. Okay, good. Even if I delay it a little. Not too much. Nope. Alright. The down 4-3 loses. So you might have to check, you know, check your hitboxes on this early and late. Because you're not always going to react instantly to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Can you hit her with fucking anything, right? That kind of shit will happen to you mid-match and you would not have known. But now thanks to Manny, you know that there's a window that where she'll go under the fucking down 4-1. Jesus Christ. So now we reduce, like, attacking Chaos Judgment, theoretically, to just, like, low hitbox mids that are fast. <laughs> Basically. That's what we got going on here. If you want to guarantee none of her options will beat it, that's kind of what you need here. But you get good reward for hitting, you know... For really getting your right read here anyway so it's not that big a deal and she has to guess it's not like she's doing one thing that's beating out everything she still has to make her guess she's not like aoping and then aop duck and then everything you do loses it's not that kind of bullshit all right so frost needle Frost Needle is a cooler name for that, too. Oh, yeah. Super Linear. Hmm. Left. Damn. That's wild. Alright, so you generally want to sidestep this late. So you don't have to worry about the realign. It's kind of got like, you know, your standard forward forward thing going on here. Where you have to step it late. Because the roll is theoretically realigning her constantly. And this just naturally tracks to her right side. And then the mid is uh, tracking the other way, right? Oh man, never <laughs> the mid tracks so much better. Oh, she recovers crouching. Oh, fuck you, Anna. Really? Oh my god, that's gross. Oh, she has a. She does, okay. This is gonna work. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Alright. Yikes. Negative 11, but she recovers crouching. This is Zell. Thanks for the follow. 
Mondo cool. No, no wonder no one was punishing that. Time to spam it way more. <laughs> well, Milo, you're giving people too much credit. You're assuming that they know that it's punishable in the first place. Well, so I will say because of that, both of the options out of that roll are strong options. The roll itself, there's a pretty high chance that mashers are going to fuck your shit up. So be a little careful. It is, it is uh, somewhat gimmicky to like you know rely on that. You gotta know your matchup, know who you're fighting. Know when to give them the credit and when not to. Okay, that's all her Chaos Judgment stuff. I like that the, this is called Rolling Stone. I don't like that this is called Seismic Blast. Just call it Frost Needle. Stop giving the same move different names. All right, Rusty Hook, her homing mid kick, plus nine on hit, counter hit knockback. 20 frames, a little on the slow side. The cool thing about this, as we talked about in part one, it is her Magic 4 combo. And it's pretty consistent. You have to hit him with, like, the very tip for it to not work. So, oh, my God, even that. This might be matchup dependent, though, because Anna has the high heels. And the high heels might be part of her hurt box. We don't know. <laughs> so it's like a your mother's may vary situation here. I'm pretty sure that will work. You probably got to dash deep. I don't know what the best juggle is. You're going to have to ask an Ana player. Sorry. It's a fine op. There's other people out there that will give you these fucking fancy juggles and shit. I just look for what is a juggle starter, what isn't, and ways to transition, or rather ways to pick up for the juggle. That's as far as I go. Uh, catapult kick up three. Oh, this is her version of that Nina, like, super low hitbox mid kick that knocks back. And it's super unsafe, right? 14 frame mid. I think this crush is faster than hop kick. I think, I think, I think, I think. Let's see. 12 frame low. Line opener is 16. Plus 5. Plus 8. Yep. At least one frame faster than Hawk Kick. I believe Nina's is uh, six frames to crush. So, I don't know how fast hers would be. Uh, we don't have a way to test that right now. Whatever. I'm not going to get too crazy with testing that. We can just confirm that it is better than Hawk Kick. We'll leave it at that. Um, knocks back on normal hits. And it's probably all full on block, right? Yeah, negative 15. It's, it's a lot like Nina's. Uh, I think Nina could do it with up forward three. No, she can't. She can't. It's up three for Nina. Um, I think sometimes people... Uh, what's back four on block? You're right. I forgot about that. Negative nine. It's homing, so we know we don't have to check the testing. Uh, uh, test the uh, tracking. Her best move? I wouldn't go that far. Are you fucking kidding me? It's 20 frames. It's not a bad move, but it's at the end of the day, it's 20 frames. So people could step guard the shit out of it. If it gave her the Asuka shit, the counter hit, you know, screw, that's a different story. Alright, so Catapult Kick, uh, I think this is a popular round starter, where if you stick a button out, this will beat you, I think. Don't quote me on that. How can we test this? She's not doing it instantly. Hmm. Can't really test the round start thing. There's always a little pause when you hit record. So it's kind of hard to test the round start thing. See? They always do it a little late. Uh, up back three, of course. Up back three is another one. But you're not going to hit people coming in at the round start with up back three. It's up three. Anna, I don't think Anna has one best move. Anna's best moves is combination of this, this, um, probably this, and all of its variations, you know. 
Uh, this, for sure. And of course, this. And it's funny because this is such an important move for Anna that the one thing that made people say Anna was a lot worse in Tekken Tag 2 was the fact that they made this launch punish ball on block. That was a Tag 2 nerf that carried over into this game. That's how important this fucking move is. It is so important for her. That even though it's negative 17 or whatever the fuck it is now, she has to use it a lot. But yeah, she has a lot of really good moves, so I wouldn't be like... I wouldn't get too hung up on what's the best or whatever. Okay, so catapult kick, negative 15. The up back version, like with most up back moves, uh, up back kicks doesn't knock down a normal hit. It's negative. I assume it retains the same hitbox, which means it's a great round ender, as was already mentioned in the chat. This will hit you while you're retreating. Oh, I gotta fucking turn up this song. It's so fucking good. So, yeah. Good move. All right. Counter hit stream. That might be too loud. It's too loud for me, so I'm gonna lower it a bit. Woo! This is a classic. This is a fucking noob killer extraordinaire. Not just noob to tech and noob to the matchup. This is a counter hit 14, 14, 13, 13 frame high juggle starter. It's a little easy to drop it. I'll get it though. Uh, I'm gonna get it, don't worry. I'm not a nano player, I promise. I wanna see the damage. Ugh. Ah. Come on. Ah, uh, boo! Well, whatever the juggle is, uh, the thing that stops her from doing crazy, crazy damage is the double knee takes her 70% scaling. Yeah, see? It takes away the 70% scaling in her juggle and only does 7 damage. So they're already airborne. Your next hit is going to do 50%. And then you have to pick up with this trash. So the damage overall is, like, toned down. But uh, there's a lot going on with this string. So, whoop. first of all, it's only negative four on block. And it pushes out a little bit, but not much. Only negative four on block. So, you can interrupt with uh, 10, 11, and 12 frames, and then 13 frame exchanges. But, uh, if I'm not mistaken, by the time you do the second hit, you can confirm. You can counter hit confirm this, I think. Like the old capo back 1-4. Yeah. We'll test that in a moment here. Anyway, the other way to beat it is to sidestep. Oh, sidestep right, apparently. So, other thing. The first two hits are not natural combo. So you'll always be able to sidestep if it's normal hit, as long as you're holding back. If you're not holding back... If you're not holding back, you get hit with the whole string. Because the whole thing is going on here is the second hit of the string, that knee, that kick, turns the last kick into a natural combo. So, for example, if I started from back here, and I whiff this, and then you say, whiff punish! This doesn't even need a counter hit. It just needs a normal hit. And then she'll get the the rest to connect on. You follow? Whew. So because of that, we can 
sort of, maybe. In some instances and situations, counter hit confirm this string. Maybe not raw, but you'll be able to like you'll have it's, you have enough time to input the the double knee in the end, the three plus four. You have enough time there to realize that by the time you do these two attacks, you have enough time to input the follow up to to know sometimes if you caught a button. So. But then the thing is, if they don't know the matchup, you're still negative four, and then you could bait like somebody to press something, backdash, and launch them, or sidestep and launch them. Pimp, <laughs> Pimpy Mitsu, thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoyed that last song. I enjoy this song a lot too. Persona Five, man. So this is a pretty good string. Let's see how the uh, not as good as the old Capo back one four bullshit, obviously, but still good. Let's see how it tracks. Nope. Oh, okay, so the first it has a little bit of tracking. Oh, not much, though. You have to time it a little better to go left. Yeah, but there's no tracking. This is a very linear string. So, it's good, but not great. The thing is, if people are, like, step uh, and pressing buttons, depending on how fast the button they press is, see? That might happen. So, the second kick, which I forgot, I didn't even realize until I just saw that by accident, it's a counter hit juggle starter in, a, in and of itself. If you just stop at the second kick. So let's look at the second kick on block. It's negative, uh, sorry, wrong move. It's negative 16 with a lot of pushback. Anna herself can't not launch punishes. And you can delay it. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. You could delay the second kick, and then if it lands normal hit, you get the pickup. If it lands on counter hit, let's see what happens. You still get the pickup. I don't know if you could juggle that. Looks like you might be able to. I think you still do. It does less damage, though. Even less damage than the normal pickup. There it is. You still get the pickup. You can't reverse the second part because they are needs. Correct. Maru Meru. Unless, unless, your geese, your Jin, who doesn't do a reversal, he doesn't parry. So geese can reversal. Uh, knees, he doesn't care about that rule. Jin doesn't care about it with his fucking parries. Um, I think that might be it currently because Wang isn't around. That might be it. I can't think of anyone else. So yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'd have to test Lei. Because Lei has a bunch of parries. Like Panther, you know, the titty grab stance. When he moves forward during that stance, he parries. So I don't know if that follows that rule. Yoshi's Flash isn't really a parry. It's a fast move. It's not a counter. Yoshi's Flash is just a very fast move. That's all that it is. Six. For, uh, it depends on if he has a sword put away or not. The speed of it. I think one is six and one is eight frames. I forget. I haven't gone through Yoshi stuff yet, but that's the old, uh, the old rule set. So this is a good string for a lot of reasons. You gotta. It's a bit risky. Can Noctis parry? Yes, Noctis. You're right. Noctis can. Yes. No, it doesn't. I'd hear. Wait. Does it hear mean it does or doesn't? Whatever. And uh, Noctis uh, ignores the rules. He parries knees and elbows. Yeah. Correct. All right. So, uh, I think I covered everything with this string. You can interrupt the double knees. The second hit, if they stop there for some reason, is launch punishable, but it pushes out. So, I wouldn't bank on that part, on block punishing that part. Uh, you could sidestep the knees to launch her and even get her back. It has sort of a uh, con counter hit confirm thing going on in the heat of a match. I don't think you're going to raw counter hit confirm this. There's no way. So really tough because by the time you're, you're confirming that the second hit comboed you're too late to combo the third I'm pretty sure let's see yeah no you're too late that wasn't a confirm I was matching yeah the window, like, you could barely press it after the kick connects. Barely, but not really. So, 
at best, you could confirm that you caught a button by the time you press the second button. That's your best bet for confirming this. But then, like I said, there's the bonus of normal hit and counter hit on the second kick. You're going to get a juggle. You got to be ready for that pickup, though. It's not, not the easiest pickup in the world. You got to be ready to dash up down 4-1. And then learn what your full juggle is, because I don't know it. You probably just do this right into this, if I were to guess. That's probably the most easiest. Wow, it whiffed. <laughs> the second it whiffed. Wow. <laughs> right under her ankle. That, she, that slap just whiffs. So, yeah, I figure... I don't know. What is it? That, maybe? There it is. 67 plus 13. Uh, the 77... Uh, 80 damage. 80 damage. Just like that. On the whole string on counter hit. Yeah, that's still going to happen even on that. 34 versus 46. So 12 damage less if you don't get the first hit on counter hit. So yeah. Good string. Very good string. Better at a lower level. Worse at, uh, against higher level opponents that know the matchup. If they don't know the matchup, then by all means, it's still a great fucking string. You know? Adheres. Thank you. I'm an idiot. I know. Thank you. <laughs> uh, up forward three. Sun and storm. Uh, this is a thing that's used in juggles sometimes. I don't know how good it is in the neutral. It does do the sideways knockdown. You know what that means. We'll verify if there's any pickups at the wall soon enough. Um, 25 frame startup. So, like... I don't know why you would do it, but you have to do it slow. Yeah, shit like that. But it's like, wow, 23, 22. Why would you, do, you know, just do this again? Whatever. Uh, four, four, four. Oh, yeah, the knockdown. Of course, I was going to get there. So what I, what I was saying is, like, every time you see this sideways knockdown, there's always two things going on, depending on how close you are. Number one, really good Oki. That's what the big nerf to Paul's back one two is was, you know, losing that knockdown. Number two, depending on your angle at the wall, near the wall, you're probably going to get some sort of guaranteed pickup or wall combo or something. So anyway, so I don't know if there's anything guaranteed, but um, that is a trap if they hold back. I'm guessing you escape it by side rolling. Let's see. Her really shitty looking trooper roll that she could land and go into uh, that on. Um, there it is. Go into Chaos Judgment. Yep. So, okay. So she has to go downward. But if you hold back, boom, it clips you. That probably becomes a juggle starter. That might, you, she might be able to pick up with down 4 1. Of course, it's a regular juggle starter. So, yeah, that's a pretty nasty little trap. It's going to make them want to stay down in side row like I did there to avoid it. And then you got to find out what your best option is to punish that. It might just be sidestepping and then doing it. You know? Mm. Ooh, you also, but in forward forward two, in the case of forward forward two, you get a guaranteed butt slide. Don't you? I'd take the guaranteed damage over the gimmicky pickups. For example, Geese has something like that too. Any of those knockdowns where Geese could grab you off the ground, he could not grab you off the ground and then just do a jumping four. And if you try to get up, he hits you guaranteed if you try to get up at all. And then it's like, all right, so if I stay down, does he get anything worse than the ground grab? No, turns out. <laughs> he gets the same shit he would have gotten guaranteed. So essentially what it boils down to is there's no reason to get up. And the same thing applies here, if I already guess. Hmm. 
That might be guaranteed too. That does more damage. I just tested down back three. Let's see. This is 27. This is 24. So yeah, that's probably guaranteed. It's faster. Ah, wow, it's crazy that does so much damage. It's because it's a clean hit, and it still lands clean hit on the floor, it looks like. Clean hit damage bonus, 150%. Oh, no, not, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. You need to get the clean hit damage bonus. Yeah, you need to get the clean hit damage bonus. You want to do down back three. Weird. <sighs> side step three. Yeah, sure, side step three is probably better too. Yep, the better damage. Point being, you get guaranteed follow-ups. Whatever the best one is, I get it. This probably breaks the floor too, right? Um, so yeah, sudden storm. I. Mm, what is it on block? She moves. Okay, it is only negative three on block. She lands pretty much point blank. Looks like she's a little off axis, but I don't think it matters. Uh. She gets guaranteed follow-ups here too. I didn't even realize she was that close. <laughs> Alright, time for me to get my uh, E can, my Mega Man energy drink. E canister, whatever the fuck they call that shit. Anybody turned up for Mega Man 11? I'm not. I'm not really a big Mega Man fan. I don't hate it, but I'm not like. You know, I'm not gonna go nuts for Mega Man. I gotta get my straw though. Never trust your cans with your mouth unless you clean it. All right, let's see on axis first what she gets. Nothing. You might get something unique, but nothing easy. Uh, nope, wrong way. Oh, look at what we have here. Look at what we have here. Oh, it's a little weird. What's it taste like? Uh, grape monster? Uh, it tastes like grape energy drinks, so good, but not great. Like, it's not the kind of drink that I would go out of my way and be like, I love the taste, so I gotta have some. But if I'm gonna drink an energy drink, it's one of the better tasting ones. That's how I put it. And it is, like, sugar-free, but it has all that other, you know, artificial sweetener shit in it. So, depending on how you feel about that stuff. Okay, so it's a little weird here. She can. Um, no, that's gonna spike. Nope, she can't get that. So the uh, down four pickups a little finicky here, which worries me. I mean, that's e that's an easy pickup, but no full combo unless the wall or the floor breaks. Is it the timing? Hmm, I got it the first time. Weird. All right. It seems like they have to be a little bit away from the wall if they're like pressed up with their shoulder against the wall. It doesn't seem like it's as good. Which make which worries me. You don't want to have to think about that, right? You don't want to have to think about that kind of shit for that pickup. I uh, press up against the wall. 
Oh, never mind. I. Hmm. Maybe you gotta mash it out as soon as possible. Alright, so it's there, I guess. I don't know what was wrong before. Alright, and then there's a high chance they're gonna resplat. So you gotta figure out a way to pick them up off the wall or something. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Oops. That's three, not four. Hmm. Maybe post wall splat that would happen. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the angle that they land at might fuck it up if she's too close, it looks like. She kicks, like, over their body. It's weird. It's fucking, fucking weird. Well, all right. Figure it out. I really want to learn Anna one day. Then just pick her up and learn her. Does she recover while standing? No, she doesn't, Ayuka. She recovers standing. She's just standing, see? That's why. If this were Tekken Tag 2, it would have just been this. And then you would tag cancel. And then, uh, you know, your partner would, assuming they had a good pickup, would uh, continue the damage. But she really has to rely on this picking up in a lot of situations. And, uh, you know, they did that on purpose. Because they don't want a lot of this stuff giving her high damage. But we know we could pick up mostly with down 4-1. Otherwise, you might just have to settle for, like, a stomp of some sort or something. Or, uh, sorry, down 3-4-1, as you said earlier. Down Buff down three two is a pickup. No, some of her best pokes. Sure, it's the same uh, as any other character that's like this. I'll explain her poking right now in a second. Hold on. So what you gotta know about Anna up front is she has the magic poking series. Which is to say, she has the plus on hit low poke. Very unsafe one, though. And on counter hit, she gets a guaranteed follow-up, right? Um, whatever it is. Yeah, sure. That, right? Side step three. And then it's plus five on hit. But it's negative 17 on block. So that's her primary low poke. Right? It's very fast, too. Second, she has a good uh, regular ass down forward one. Pop, pop all day long. You can sidestep when this is blocked. It's negative one. You're still pretty much in their face. I think hers has a pretty good hitbox too. And it tracks still one side if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see? It tracks to her right side. Which is generally her weak side if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh no. So what happened there, I got her on at that one time because I was already off axis. Tekken's weird like that sometimes. But if you do it off of a jab on block at least, it's going to track in most directions. Right? So then you might be like, alright, well, this is not a frame trap. So what if they answer with uh, jabs to counter hit me? Well, then that's when you bust out. Right? Boom. And then you get a combo. Well, maybe you don't get a combo. But still, if they do anything slower than a jab, you get a combo. Otherwise, you uh, knock them back. <laughs> you might get some sort of follow-up, like maybe this. Let's see. All right, so maybe not on an exchange because she's too far. But still, if they do anything slower than a jab, that's going to be a great option. Also... 
It's Saika. Thanks for the follow. Also, of course, jab into one two. That's always gonna be a a frame trap. That's a frame trap for ninety ninety five percent, ninety nine percent of the characters in the game have a jab on block into jab again as a frame trap. That's always been a thing in second, right? Outside of like Jack and Oscar and a couple of others. Um. So the thing that makes Anna slightly different. That's like the basic Tekken like. Most of the cast, you know, go to low poke, a jab, and a go to mid poke. She has it. You know, most of the cast has something like that, right? So, and then she gets the magic four. That's eleven frames on top of it, which is really good. Some characters have twelve frame magic four, which is still good, but not as good. Um, to go with all that stuff, you have the fact that she has follow ups off of her thirteen frame series. This one jails, so I don't think you could duck the second hit. Right, it jails. So you cannot take the second hit. It's still a natural combo. It's down forward one, two. And on block, it's negative three. Which is still not as good as negative one, but still a decent situation. Only plus two on hit, though. And then, another thing, even though she's negative three, she has two options to stop people from swinging. Ba, ba, ba. And ba, ba, ba. Right? The high safe on block, but uh, it knocks back. Knocks down. Knocks down sideways. Right? Yeah. I don't think there's any counter hit properties. And then uh, the kick knocks back, but it's mid and it's unsafe. Negative 12. She also has the ability to fake people out and go into this. So if you get them afraid of this, you can make them hesitate, go into this, and then mix them up further by holding back. There is no frame trap there. You can be mashed on. You have to make them respect this on block. You got to make them respect this on block. You got to respect that. You can start working in this. You got to earn that, basically. And like, you know, which which is typically why things like that are not good in low level player, but are better in mid to high level play. Mainly mid in that instance. Now she has other good lows, other good other good low pokes. This is not this is not the only one. But you could start with this. And then start learning how to use the other lows. This right here by itself, this is the generic most of the cast has this from standing. Generic uh, down four, right? Some char some characters have to press something different because they'll have inputs that overlap with it. But it's always 12 frames from standing. A 12 frame low poke that crushes highs. And in most instances, they are like impossible to sidestep. Not in all instances, but in most. They are impossible to sidestep because of how fast they are. These are always good. The thing about Anna and Nina is they have follow-ups to their generic low, uh, the generic down four poke and their generic down three poke. That's the generic down three. Generic down three is always negative three on hit. Generic down four is always negative two on hit. Generic down three is always 16 frame startup, negative 17 on block, pushes out on hit, and has a lot of reach. So from the tip, certain characters will have trouble block punishing. She has down three two, just like Nina. And it's a counter hit juggle starter, impossible to sidestep. And she has down 4 1, which is zero on block, counter hit combo. In the case, uh, they can, uh, both Anna and Nina could hold up or down to sidestep cancel out of the second hit of down 4 1. And in the case of Anna, she can hold back to cancel out the second hit and go into that stance at plus one. Wow, it actually says that in the Tekken bot. Go figure. Um, and I already went over this earlier. This stance has some frame traps when you use it like this. So, there's ways to use that stuff too. Yeah, I mean, of course. That's what most, like, most people when they come into Tekken, and even when they have been to Tekken, they have a tendency to learn combos first. Learn your neutral. Learn your neutral. That's like every fighting game. Everybody sucks at neutral. They just learn their combos and their follow-ups and their vortex Tekken is a lot less Vortex heavy than other fighting games, obviously. It used to have more Vortexes, but not anymore. Fucking DR double gen. Don't even get me started. So, you gotta learn your neutral. In Tekken, everybody has a go-to mid poke. Everybody has a go-to low poke. At least one. You know, more, usually more, but there's at least one you can rely on in both instances. You know, even look, let's look at Jack. You guys have seen Jack in tournament, right? 4 4 1. Jackhammer is not his go-to mid poke. His go-to mid poke is down forward one. That stupid like gut push that looks like the low. His go-to low poke is down back one, which looks like a down forward one, but hits you in the fucking uh, shin. 
you know, and then he has a, a standing two jab, which is slower, two frames slower than a, uh, most characters' one jabs. But that's Jax, his 12 frame. It has more range, too. And then he uses that to start up all of his fucking offense. You see it all the time when you see the good Jack players in tournament. So you should you should get the idea. Look at how they're using those moves. That should give you an idea. You could do something similar. You know, in some instances, in, you know, most instances, you're not going to have the range of Jack with his poking. Jack, that's the thing Jack has to trade off the fact that he can't sidestep really well. Like, at all, up close, really. Um, but, you know, that's that's his trade off. Other characters, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to have anywhere near that much range. He probably has, like, twice as much range with Jack. But they're going to be able to do shit like this. Jack can't do this with down forward one. Try it. You're going to get fucked up. You can't do down forward one on block size and down forward one on block. But any other character that has a 13 frame down forward one that's negative one on block, they can do this shit all fucking day. Right? And then the moment you start baiting out the options that track, which are usually slow. Like, let's just say, say for example, if you don't know any better and you're like, all right, this he's sidestepping. Homie move, right? That's the, the you know. That's the thing the game tells you to do. That homie move beats sidestep, right? So, it should beat this, right? Well, oops, sorry. I got a black one. You see, and it does, right? But the cool thing about Tekken is you can always cancel out of your movement. There's some window where you can get hit during your movement and you can't cancel in time. But for the most part, especially only on negative one, you can totally cancel out of your movements and still block that, but that's safe. Now, if I'm Anna and I notice that your your answer to me doing this all day, sidestep this, sidestep this, sidestep this, uh, is to do a home, a slow ass homie move. Well, guess what? Not only if I'm Anna, if I'm Kazumi, if I'm Miguel, if I'm Brian, if I'm a lot of fucking characters. Well, guess what? You're giving me access to doing this into a counter hit tool. Even though I'm negative one. Right? And then what do I risk by doing that? Well, I risk this. I risk, uh, what's 11 frames? I don't even know what 11 frames is. In the case of Anna, I basically risk eating jabs. <laughs> well, of course, I risk Anna doing her own magic four. And then I risk, uh, ducking. You know? I risk, uh, sidestep launch. You know? Or if they just, like, block it. I'm at negative nine. Or Anna, with the Anna doing the kick is at negative nine. So I have to guess their mix up. Because at negative nine, you're safe, but the frames are too heavy for you to be able to move. You can't really move around at negative nine. Even linear moves start to hit you. So that was a lot of info I just dumped there, but I hope you, uh, you pick it up when I'm putting down, you know? That's like not Anna exclusive. That's, you know, you got to realize that tech and move lists are generally homogenized, right? It only starts to really get weird when you get, when you get to the guest characters. What's that, Louis Joestar? When you get to the guest characters, that's, they're, they're kind of their own thing, right? Except for Geese, he kind of follow, kind of, sort of follows some of the rules with his movement. Not, not, not too much, though. Well, you know, let's just say the guest characters in general, for the most part. Uh... And, like, weird stance characters. They get a little weird during certain instances, like Yoshimitsu, mainly. And uh, Ling Zhaoyu. But, generally, this is the rules. But even the guest characters. Akuma has a down forward one. He can't sidestep well, though. So, he has to, like, really do hard read 50-50s in your face all day. Flip the coin, basically. Geese handles that much better, because Geese could move. Because Geese comes from KOF. And KOF is... 2D Tekken. It's all about movement. More so than it is about forcing mix-ups on your character. So they did a pretty good job with Geese, if you ask me. Alright. Okay, so back to... We looked at Sudden Storm. What was it on block? Oh yeah, negative 3 on block. Leaves are point blank. A lot of range, so that's cool. Yeah, maybe this move isn't as bad as I thought. It's very slow, but you could clip something from very far away. I ain't look at the tracking really. I'm gonna guess it doesn't track, but let's see. I've been surprised before. <laughs> it just looks linear. You can kind of tell from looking at a move like this. I mean, you're not gonna backdash it, but you know, safe on block, so. Oh, wow, camera. 
you expect you would expect when you get behind him the camera to go with you. I think you cannot duck that. I think. I think. I probably tested this, but I'm gonna test it again. Correct. You cannot duck that. All right. I'm pretty sure I tested that last time too, but I wanted to make sure. So the same thing will apply if you hit him back turn with this. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, I, I tested that last time, Ayuka. Except you could get the can-can uh, out of that. You don't have to get the ass. Oh, you, you say back turn throw? Hmm, that might be better than doing the can-can on him. Basically, oh, if you don't like this, this, this string is weird when you hit him back turn, cause it, you see, they kind of turn around and and they, and they end up side turn and that fucks everything up. But that launch I did to her back is definitely guaranteed. It probably gives you more damage, but this is faster. To give you an example of why this is important, I'll show you one right now, real quick. This is a uh, Ling Zayu uh, punish that you guys may not know about. I usually bring this up at least one time every time we do one of these character reviews. Where is she now? They moved everybody around and I can't find her. Where is she? Am I? Oh my god. I'm, okay. I'm like losing my mind. I'm like, did they remove her? <laughs> Where the fuck is she? Is that why Peeling in the player? Yes, you are correct. I'm still going to show it on stream, though, for those that don't know. And she'll be able to counter this. That's why that's important. You can't use the kick. She has a manual parry now. Not, not only the punch parry. So that move from Ling Zhaoyu, that kick, you've probably seen it before. That is negative 11 on block. But not only is it negative 11 on block, she, it's negative 11 with Ling Zhaoyu recovering back turn, which is important. Which means whatever you do, as long as it's 11, as it's 11 frames or faster, it's going to hit her in the back. It's going to hit her in the back. Uh, so that means any jab strings are going to all connect on her back. Most of them are guaranteed, some aren't, some have big enough windows for her to do something about it. Here's the thing that's going on. When Ling Zhaoyu's back turn... Um, nope. I don't know how to do her parry. Nope. Well, she has a back turn parry now that's new to this game, so I don't know how to do it. But the other thing she has is that move. That move is a punch parry that activates on frame one. So if you were to do a 12 frame punch of some sort, she's gonna parry it and she's gonna get a combo. 12 frame or slower. As long as it's not an elbow. And I'll show you that right now. See? And she gets a combo. So, you can kick, in older games, you could kick her and like 15 frame hot kicks, for example. That's an 18 frame, but 15 frame hot kicks, you could just do it to her and always get a launch. It'll hit her either back turn or she'll turn and get counter hit by it because of this. But now, I don't know I don't know the input, but now she has a parry from back turn. And that beats out kicks, and that activates on frame one also. One plus four, yeah, yeah, one plus four. There you go. There it is, yeah. Yeah, see? And then she's, uh... She's whatever the fuck... Whatever she gets for free out of it, I don't know. If anything. So, that eliminates the old rule set. You can still hop kick her if your hop kick is a knee, like King's. And it has to be 15 frames, not slow. 
Because if she does two of those back to back, she actually low profiles the mids pretty quick. So it uh, it loses to elbows, right? You know, I'm sure her punch parry does too. Oh, that's not the quarter circle forward one. Right, see, so yeah, it'll counter hit her. But that's not what you want to do. Now, you know, you already know where I'm going with this. That's how you want to punish that. <laughs> that's how you want to punish that. You can't, for Anna, you cannot do the kick because that's going to work. And if she does the other thing, you'll counter hit her, but you're not going to get anything else. Right? See, she's going to turn around. The moment you counter hit her, she turns around instantly. The moment she activates a move, basically. So, you want to pa 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 pa, and then you do whatever the fuck the combo is. Depending on your character, some characters get better uh, punishes in this situation than others, obviously. Like, King could get most of his 10 hit combo on her back. I think Leo gets the 1 2 1 4 string, I think. I forget if you could duck that still. Um, the thing is, if your string, even though it starts with jabs, if the later part of your string has any sort of gap in it, she could do that fucking punch parry in the middle of your string. She can mash that shit out. Or the fucking parry, the other parry, the manual parry. She can mash that shit out during your string, and then you, in the middle of your string, you'll lose. Or there's certain strings that start fast, and then there's a little window where you could duck. Same thing. All that shit could happen. So you have to, like, hit her with... You have to test. You gotta test. Some characters just get their usual 10 frame punish, like Gigas, unfortunately. Alright, so. Now that we got that exclamation out of the way. Anna blows up that move hard. Akuma in particular gets a very. F oh, Geese. Oh, Geese, dude. Geese's 1, 2, 3 is all guaranteed on her back. And when it hits a back turn, it, it knocks him into the air and he gets a down four forward three pickup. It's a full combo. And if Geese has meter, one meter, he does crouch jab on her ass. Like, bah! it's a forward one. And then he max mode cancels and he's still on her back the whole time. <laughs> so, which means he does standing two forward one into the EX uh, quarter circle back one plus two into the mid stomp option of bouncer. And then the juggle starts from there. All that shit in her back, and then he starts to juggle. That shit is fucking crazy. I love it. Don't ever, if you're a Link player, don't do that shit against Geese. At least, at least a Geese player that knows, you know, what they're doing. No, I haven't gone over Link's IU. I've been, like, neglecting. Everyone I've gone over is in my YouTube, if you scroll down. I've gone through most of the cast. All right. So we left off at up forward three. We went over everything. Guaranteed options. Uh, what what the best one, uh, as far as what the best one is, my guess is sidestep three. And then uh, if they do get up, you uh, and you instantly input a forward forward four when you recover. Damn it! I had it before. Wasn't it this move? There it is. Okay, not instantly. You have to dash a bit. Alright, and then you do whatever the fuck the pickup is. Ah. There it is. 52 plus 13 damage. Yes, that's guaranteed. Um, that last hit is guaranteed. All right. Woo. All right, the can opener, the classic Nina string. Up forward, four, three, four. And it has wine opener, and they both have can opener. This is the, the classic, right? Oops. Yep, all right. So, all right. So um, after you input the last hit up for four three four, you could hold up or down to cancel the last hit into a sidestep, right? 
Nina can do this too. You cannot do it off of the second hit. Obviously. You cannot like do the hot, jumping high, whatever. Do off the second hit. And this is a high, low, high. This is a common like low level Williams players. I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm going to spam this string. It's a classic. You got to know that when you see that, well, not that, that fucking kick. Well, align myself. What you see? Oh my god! She has like this weird flip kick that overlaps it. You gotta know that the only option after this kick is a low. So you low parry it. Now if she hits you, you probably cannot low parry it. That's a usual, that's a common thing with strings, but it's not 100% of the time. So, on block, you can low parry and that's the end of it. You don't have to wonder if she's gonna sidestep cancel or nothing, right? Uh, if she hits you, it is negative six. Size of cancel might make it weird. What's going on, Isaac Locke? Yep, it is a Nina Stream. Uh, can forward four three catch that too? Oh yeah, good point. Good question. Let me see real quick. Uh, it comes out a bit too fast. The general idea is you want to do the triple rope because if she stays grounded, it'll hit her. The way they have to avoid it is to stay grounded and side roll in one direction. I forgot which direction at the moment, but I, I, I went over that earlier. Yeah. So, basically, this is better. You'll get a juggle on off of it still. It even has the gimmick to get a better juggle, I think. I think you can land and go into Chaos Judgment. I think she gets a better juggle. Whatever. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because... Yeah, oh, whatever. All right. Um, yeah, I was talking about can opener. Yeah, can opener isn't that as good as, like, Nina players and Williams players in general in past games. They use it like it's the most amazing fucking move ever. It's, it's whatever. It's not a great move. It's just a move that you have to be ready for. Right? So even if she hits me, let's see. Okay, if she hits me, yeah, if she hits me, I cannot low pair the second hit with the first hit. So you got a low block. And then that's when you have to start guessing what's going to happen. Because, yeah, it's negative 17. Sure. Yeah, that's a punish, right? No, it's not negative 17. Second bot, you're wrong. Oh, it's 18 frames. Fuck. The classic shitty punisher. Um... Wait, I know what it is. No, not that. <laughs> um, that, right? No, that's too slow still. Oh, she don't got shit. <laughs> She's like Kazumi, except she doesn't have an in-between. How fast is that again? 18. Well, you'll be doing a lot of low pairing as Anna. That's for sure. Mix him up. <laughs> uh, she gets her 13 frames So negative 17 is probably right Kazumi uh, Her while standing 2 is also 18 frames And while she does have a 15 frame hop kick To try it has like garbage range So Kazumi has always been In a similar situation <sighs> Let's see what happens when you Um Oops. Ah! That fucking move keeps getting in the way. See? Even if it hits me, I beat out her side step cancel into a jab? Come on. That shit is whack. Yeah, even if she hits me, dude, this shit's trash. This move sucks. This move sucks. This move sucks. This move sucks. Whatever. Low parry, and that's the end of this. And then if you get hit by the first hit, and then she does the second hit, the fucking third hit is supposed to be what stops you from mashing like I'm doing. But it's not much of a deterrent.
Yeah, see, not even that. The low into the high, that's a natural combo. That's why they love doing this. But she has to do that fucking first kick to go into it. Ah. And knocks back. Oh, wow, it whiffed. I don't even know if I can set this up, to be honest with you. This drink sucks. It's gonna, like, fuck you up a lot until you get used to seeing it. It fucks me up a lot. It used to fuck me up a lot back in the day, and I started to finally started to start seeing it. And now I never see this fucking string anymore. You gotta be ready to low parry it. That's, that's really all there is to it. You gotta be ready to low parry that shit. Uh, the first kick by itself is negative 3 on hit. Negative 11 on block. Eighteen frames. Uh, I don't know if all it is. It's the same move, move name, same input. But uh, as far as move properties go, I don't recall. I think it's similar. I don't know if it's exactly the same. But it's a gimmick for both of them. Can opener. Yeah, this is the fucking shit I keep doing by accident. Basically, if you want to do a can opener, you have to let the stick or pad or whatever go back to neutral. It's up forward, but you don't hold up forward. If you hold up forward, you get that. Which is what this move is. Which is an 18 frame launcher. What's the uh, pickup? I'm trying to close circle forward one. I don't know if she recovers in time. My god, course looking forward one. Come on. Oh my Okay, she recovers standing, but she recovers with the awkward timing, so I don't know if she could get course looking forward one. Easiest combo ever though. <laughs> if you just want to do that instead. Is it 59 plus 13? There you go. Just down forward, 3-2. Hold down forward. You go right into that. Forward, 3-2. Dash up. Down back one. Delayed four. All right. Uh, I did not test the tracking on can open. I should probably do that. tracking wow that range is shit hmm. yeah so it tracks fairly well but the range is atrocious look at that I didn't even move back I didn't even move back. But it's a negative three situation, so we know the tracking is pretty good. Alright, Dominatrix heal. This is a very important move. Now, you know, um, old school gamer Jim. Thanks for the follow. So, you know all those situations with free follow-ups? Well, what was it? Uh, no. What was it? Uh, oh. There it is, okay. For example, that, right? And you go, oh, you get all this free shit. Well, if you do that instead, you're gonna get a floor break. Like that, right? 
Now, I don't know. I think it hits twice. And if it does, it might need the second hit. That's what I'm not re recalling right now. This is a really good move for her in general. You probably, if you've been watching uh, Anna players play on stream, you've probably seen this move quite a bit during Oki. This move has a lot going on. Okay, yeah, it needs a second hit. Oops. Yeah, it needs a second hit to uh, floor break. What's up, Chad? What the fuck is that? It's Mega Man Exus right now. So, uh, you, you know, you're going to want to study all your knockdowns. I did see last time that wine opener was one of them, so that's a good one because wine opener is a really good move. Um, yes, there's another one. What else we got? No. Um, hmm. Any other ones? Any other knockdowns? Anybody knows? Hmm. I can't think of any other ones. Unfortunately, they're at an angle where the second hit won't connect, so you're not going to get the stomp, the ground break. And you can tell they did it on purpose, because if you see, the last hit that connected, 80% 3 damage. They did that shit on purpose, because that's going to fuck with your scaling a lot. Back 2-2, two, two. I did that already. Yeah, yeah, you're, 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 you're kind of right. See? It depends. If you're all facts, as I imagine, it won't work. See? Yeah, see? <laughs> if you're on axis, though, you can count on it. I believe in back 2-2. Two, two. So it seems like the main one, though, in my opinion, is a wine opener. Because you're, you're, they're going to be... Look at that. Pretty consistent. Let's try even more. Okay, yeah. If you're two off axis, it won't knock down. Even on counter hit. Yes, it'll just... So, yeah. We could, as long as we see a knockdown on wine opener, we could be quite confident that you're going to get it. And it, it's a knockdown into a combo, so we know it's legit. It's, t it's airtight. Full cross forwards? Oh, shit. Good one, good one. I don't know why I forgot about that. You're probably right. I forgot all about that move. That's an armor move now, too. Yep. Very important for a full crouch mix-up character. And once again, to reiterate from uh, last time I did this, Anna is not a block punish character. She's not a block punish character. You have to be very aggressive with this character. That's just the reality of the situation. More so than Nina. You have to force your mix-ups. I mean, sure, you can hold on to a lead, too. You don't have to, like, but, you know. More more, more so than other characters, you kind of have to mix them up. Don't be, like, peeling, though, and get, like, a 40% life lead. And then dive roll with Lei and force a 50-50 mix-up. Get your launch punish on block low blocked. And then lose the fucking round and lose the tournament. Right? Don't be like Peeling. Play it smart. You don't have to force the mix up every time. You could still sit on a lead just like you could you can with uh, any other Tekken character. So yeah, uh, other stuff with this move. On normal hits, forces crouch, you're plus five, double hits. So good situation. You recover you recover crouching. Very important. Plus five, you could force the mix up. Sort of. <laughs> You're going to the while standing one two shit. Which is just like down forward one two. Same shit. Yeah, negative three.
Just checking. Right. Nothing special on counter hit, but we know it hits grounded. So anytime they stay grounded, it's a good tool. And it's only negative three on block. Now she does recover crouching. What does that mean? When you recover crouching, you can only instantly side step towards the background. So if you're on one piece side, you can only instantly go up. This is why the uh, chains to dragon off that actually hurts is not that they made down to a negative one on hit. It's that they made them the opponent recover standing on hit. That means they could side step in both directions. And then if you're on this side, you can only go to your right. Of course, if you're online, you may not be able to tell that because of the side select option, but, you know. So, yeah, negative three on block. Negative three, negative three, negative three. Let's test the tracking. Oh, 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 fucking up, fucking up. Ugh. I'm trying to get to negative three to test it. It's going to be... It's a really general good sweet spot to test your tracking, negative three. Don't always test it off of a jab. I was making that mistake in my earlier stuff. And there's certain things that when you do it off of a jab, it'll track pretty well. And you do it off of anything else, it won't. So yeah, this is quite linear. Yeah, quite linear. It's mainly good for Oki. I wouldn't use it in the neutral. Executioner. All right. This shit. Yeah, only the first it connects. So as was mentioned earlier, you could still clip with that if they hold back. So they have to stay down the side row. And if you clip with that, you got to juggle. Guaranteed. We know it's homing, so we don't have to test the tracking. Uh, 16 frames plus the forward forward input means it's going to be more like 17, 18 frames. All right. Uh, plus six on block. Cheap shit. So we got another really good high that's plus on block to go along with quarter circle forward one. Three frames slower, but they both have weird inputs that are going to make them slower than, you know, three frames faster. Sorry for this. Um, yeah, this is really... <laughs> This is really good. <laughs> it's kind of like Brian's forward one plus two. Except his is plus eight, I think. And it's homing. It's fucking good. It's good. No counter hit properties. But when we see that knockdown, guys, you know what that means. It means Geese's team comes on, apparently. This is the, cat, the CVS2 version, right? Or CVS1, yeah. Best person. Ooh. Ooh. Pump it up. Soy sauce for geese. For some weird reason. He has like weird names for his theme songs depending on which uh, Fatal Fury KOF game is. It's always like says something for geese. And one of them is like soy sauce for geese. It's really weird. Stand and approach. So this knocks down to the right. Okay. Nope. Okay, so it's normal. Yes! We have a juggle starter homing high that's quite fast. When the wall's to your right. And the other one covers the other side, right? Yeah. So she ha she's like dragging off. She has uh, different moves for different sides. That one seems more consistent than the up forward three one with the wall to her left. Yeah, so the second one is called Source That's for Geese because the second one is, I think, pulled out of one of those older games, I think. Uh, with a slight remix because of the final round version. But this is actually my favorite one. This is the one from CVS1. Mm -mm -mm. 
up forward 3 plus 4 auto has bad tracking. That's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> they made it bad on purpose because they want you to use it as an Oki tool. Yeah, I get it. That's obvious. It's one of those. Yeah, so this is a really good move. Obviously, it's a high. You can duck it. That's the weakness. You know? The range looks good, too, honestly. Pretty good. It looks like an elbow, actually. No, it's a backhand. This is an elbow. The range looks pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, the range looks alright. Yeah, she moves forward quite a bit. Alright, treading water. Here we go. The old wall combo. This is her can-cans, and she could cancel the last kick, the third kick, into Chaos Judgment if you hold back. One, two, three. So the third one usually whiffs. That was me doing the third one. If you do the first two, you don't really get much of a follow-up, I think. I think you just get an, the ass. No, not even that. I don't think she gets any guaranteed follow-up if you do the first two kicks. There it is. If the second one picks you up that way, it looks like she could pick you up. It looks like she can. Let's see. But there's more going on with that second kick that I haven't gotten to yet. And uh, she can't really delay it. She has to do them back to back. I mean, you just saw it right there. Whoop, that was the third one. Yeah, see? So if she does it from uh, range, and then the second one picks you up, and she does the third one, or if the second one just picks you up by itself, she'll be able to convert it. Whew, okay, uh... Now, I think there's something else about this string. MYK mentioned it earlier, actually. My YouTube link is on the bottom. It's on the bottom of my Twitch page. I don't know. Let me get a link. I've been doing this since this game came out. These long form. Um, what the fuck is my YouTube? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know the link to my own YouTube. Hold on a second. See if this works. All right, try this. Oh, hey, there it is. Thank you. Well, I put it up too. Yeah, so I've done most of the cast. Uh, although my earliest ones aren't don't hold up as well because I've gotten better at doing this as I've went on with characters. So. <clears throat> um. If you commit to cat, you get follow-ups. If you don't commit to cat, she gets nothing. That's what I'm saying. But if you don't commit to cat, uh, cat is Chaos Judgment. The old name for Chaos Judgment. Now you'll see it as CJM, I think, in the bots or, and shit like that. And the juggle list. But it used to be known as Cat Stance. I don't know why. I didn't make the rules. Don't fucking ask. Uh, but um, if you commit to going into Chaos Judgment... She gets a pickup off of that. It's a that ass, right? Uh -huh. If only that were guaranteed. But MYK was talking about like if the second it hits them standing. 
There's like a counter hit connect on that, I think. No, that's not comboing. So I don't know what MYK was talking about. There was, he said there was a way to connect one. You get 2-1 if the last kick hits. Cat 2-1. Hmm. Oh, uh, no. Not the last kick. I think you mean the second into the third kick. Oh, maybe not. Wait. It, it might link. You might be right, actually. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't see the frame data. You might be right. Hold on a second. There it is, yeah. All right, it was something. I thought it was Cat One, which gives her the uh, follow-up, the the uh, ass follow-up. All right, so she gets a legit plus ten, not plus eleven though, because if she got plus eleven, she would get this into that. That's still good. You gotta be ready for that though. <laughs> so if you notice that you do this and you commit to chaos judgment and you hit them and they didn't like get knocked into the air, that means you get. That, that follow up. Thank you very much for the heads up. I know it was something. I just couldn't remember what it was. Uh... Mm, yeah, Milo. I finally got some sub money. I, 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 it, it only took me what, a year and a, and a couple of months, but you know, I appreciate it. Much love. So, treading water is. Um, it's good at chasing people down that, that are like running away and. Especially like some people who uses like um, like a ha ha step maybe, you might be able to clip them if they commit to a button while you chase them down. But I don't know what the on block situation is here. It might not be worth doing. I've never really explored this. So let's see. Let's see without any chaos judgment shit. Negative fourteen on block. Yikes. The first kick is negative thirteen. So the first kick is just a straight up negative thirteen launcher. 15 frames, but it's forward forward. So you're gonna see 16 17 frames more likely So the thing about forward forward moves those of you that don't know in Tekken This is a universal rule No matter what the tracking is on the move inherently if it comes out of forward forward you are realigning during the forward forward input and In most cases if you hold the second forward if you double tap forward forward and hold the second forward for a bit in most situations you could still get the move to come out and it constantly realigns as you hold forward. You could delay it a bit. If you delay too much, you're going to get a wild running three. But see, doing it like that. So let me give you an example. She stand blocks and then she sidewalks, right? Let's see. See, right? Same thing here. Right? Now, what if I hold forward a bit? Oh, now the angle was weird there. You may you may not get a pickup, but this is just a universal rule set for forward forward moves. And the general idea is timing. That's what's important. It's more important than tracking in some instances, but not always, because uh, the reason that like OS defensive movement like Jimmy, you know, J Tran style, the reason they work so well is because of this uh, mechanic, because it's a way to counter people delaying moves to like you know delaying moves to catch side steps that why that's why you'll see him side step duck side step duck over and over again he's canceling his side step so let me record that same setup on myself and you'll see what i mean right so that should right but what if i whoop, i'll do i'll do it I'm not great at this, but... Oh. Mm. There it is. See? It's all about timing. Now, I'm awful at this. Because I haven't put in the work like a Jimmy J. Tran or really good players, you know? But, if you put in the work on doing this kind of stuff... I imagine it's a lot easier on pad and, um... Obviously, on, like, a hitbox or a mix box, keyboard, whatever you use... Because you don't have to like manually move the stick. But this is really, 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 really good. Now you know what an altar boy feels like. Well, thanks for the uh, letting me know, Jack. So, step guarding is good. But step guarding into another step, that's another level. <laughs> that's how you beat out these kinds of moves that are like inherently linear. Now, I'm pretty sure this... Uh, 
is inherently linear to both directions. Maybe not. Okay, it seems like it naturally tracks to her left side. Which is her strong side, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Well, let me make her a sidewalk, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Hmm. Trying to do it as fast as possible, but... Hmm. Oh, Sidewalk. It's my favorite KOF song. So it's pretty, uh, it loses to pretty decisively the sidewalk left, but it tracks pretty decently. All things considered. Stepping this can be quite difficult. It's a tricky, it's a pretty tricky move. So the 443 by itself, only, uh, was it only negative 14, was it? Or 13? It's negative 13, that's a good move. That 443 by itself is a pretty dang good move. Obviously, the 44 is going to also add a lot of range to it. Right? That's her hop kick. It's, uh, even though it's animated at 15 frames, this is not a 15 frame punish. Alright, so. What's the situation? getting to cancel oh my god why am I fucking up this input there it is okay we're going into the 10 frame option oh negative one that's good that's quite good only negative one huh it's not a bad way to force that Right, and the cool thing is, you could confirm that you hit them and do the uh, down the chaos judgment down three three into the ass to get a combo out of it. And basically, it's a negative one on block way to, but you know, it's a it's not a true negative one. You have to like press a button. You can't block out of chaos judgment, not instantly. And there's no way to cancel to block, and at least none that I know of yet, because she commits to this crouch dash. She can't cancel out of it like Dragon Off or Brian. Or even Nina, I think. Um, but still, that's good. That's that's pretty good. All right, that's everything, right? I didn't forget anything about that move. I think that's everything. Uh, I don't think it's a good good as a wall combo anymore, right? It used to be in, in uh, Tekken Five and DR this used to be her wall combo it's probably not what you want to do anymore the crazy thing is it was like her highest wall damage but she didn't just get it like out of a wall splat she got it off of her wall carry she would wall carry and just run up and do it and she got the exact same damage that she you know that she got when you like wall splat somebody up against the wall it was fucking wild so what's a good wall splat the ass Nope. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. No good. Maybe post core screw, but the damage is probably shit. You could get down three one four instead of the butt. Really? Is that so? That means you could get down three, uh, four, one to break the floor also. Um, 
that, is that one of those you gotta like dash up slightly for? Oh man, that's that's an annoying one. Yeah, you gotta dash, don't you? Oh, that's not far. Oh. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Thank you. I read that as down three for some reason. I didn't see the F. KOF music. Let me lower it a bit. All right. Okay, trading water. Good shit. And that's a better combo because you get better carry. So, that's good. Falling heal. This is a trooper roll. We already know. Normal hit juggle starter, right? We know that. On some characters, she may have better pickups, but the usual rule of down 4 1 applies. Um. Once again, it's a forward-forward move. I just told you guys about that. So, zero on block. Juggle starter on hit. Any unique knockdown on counter hit? No, same knockdown on counter hit. A lot of damage. Good for Oki, but this is the kind of shit where if they tech and you whiff it on Oki, you're going to get launched. Maybe on your back. So, be careful with this one. Now, there's uh, more to say about this. If you hold back... You end up in Chaos Judgment. What is the advantage? Well, let's find out. Oh, it's negative. Alright. So, this is the, uh, the whole... The fact that she's zero here... She has to get you to respect that zero to force a Chaos Dungeon mix-up out of this. 16 frame is beating out the uh, 10 frame. Now, this does have four active frames, but if I'm beating out her 10 frame with 16 frames, those four active frames don't matter as much. Yeah, see, look at that. That's that's not good. Yeah, you, you're, fully re you're fully relying on... Uh, you're fully relying on the hesitation. But without Chaos Judgment, with the four active frames when he uses on Oki, you might be able to get a plus situation, plus three or so. Right? Like, uh, what's a knockdown that they could tech? guarantee stuff up for like all her knockdowns I don't think she uh, uh... no she doesn't recover in time so it's hard for me to find anything is there a good juggle letter that spikes because people usually end juggles with this which sends them flying away right Counter hit, course to go forward 2 1. What's up, Ultimate Crypto? No, that's, that's not a knockdown. I need a knockdown. I need a knockdown that she doesn't get anything guaranteed off of. There's no counter hit properties on Chaos Judgment 1 plus 2. Not 4 4 counter, she gets guaranteed follow ups. We don't want to do that. You want to just do her guaranteed shit. Oh, as an ender. Ah, oh, yes. Alright. Hmm. 
What's a juggle example where we could use that? Um, oh, boy. Oops, one plus two. Ah, down forward, down forward. Ugh. It's like Jack. Plus one. We got active frame number two there. And they have to hold back for that, which, uh... I don't know if she's doing that right now. But we did get a plus one there. So that's not bad. Counter hit down forward is an option select. What do you mean? What is, like, what's the option select? What's the option select? You... But uh, what does that have to do with this? What, what I'm looking for? The knockdown? Zero. Uh. Mm, not great. The space, if she were closer, this would be good. Ugh, why am I fighting? The recovery's a little weird on it, too. See, because the thing is, if I do it any faster than that, which is only giving me zero still, um, it's going to whiff when they tech. And I'm also fucking it up. That seems hit for by the way. Plus one. All right. There's a window there. I still don't get why you're calling that an OS, by the way. That's not really an OS. It's, what's the OS here? Man, that's an awkward fucking recovery. I'm trying to do it faster. There it is. Jesus. She recovers so fucking awkward out of it. Down forward 3 2 back as an ender. What's down four three two back? That's not a thing. Covers all options of what though? You have to get a counter hit. Like, what are you saying? Yes, there is this, but you get a guaranteed follow up. Now four one back. Well, I, I just found it. I got it. I got it after after the second hit here. That second hit, you could do it. It's very awkward, but I got it once. Look at the Tekken bot. Look at the Tekken bot. I'll try to get it again. Look at the Tekken bot. Mm. You have to do it like... So I got plus two there. There it is, see? Plus three. That's the latest it can hit. Although the spacing is trash, so it's not even worth the effort, to be honest with you. You're plus three, but you're here. What the fuck are you going to force? You're not going to force anything. You try the magic four, you're not even in range. Covers all wake-up options. Off of what? What knockdown? Off of counter hit? You know? What, what knockdown does it cover all options? If you're just saying forward, forward, four is guaranteed after a counter hit 
off of this, that's not an OS. That just means you guarantee. That's a guaranteed follow. -up. That's all that that means. That's why you're confusing me. I don't think you're using the OS term properly here, unless. Come on, bitch. Recover faster. Oh my gosh, she recovers so late. It's weird. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like, you know, <laughs> that she should be recovering that slow. Jesus Christ. I mean, they can still block it. Unless I'm doing it wrong here. Oh, that was encounter. See? I mean, you know. Would an OS be like that forward, forward, four, Oki? Oh, boy. All right. Here's what an OS is. I'm going to give you a defensive OS. All right, so it's the other way. I'll get it. That's an OS. I'm inputting a a uh, sequence of commands. It's a little harder to do where, uh, against hers because her wine opener is fast. I'm inputting a sequence of commands that, uh, depending on what she does, I'm going to get a result that benefits me. That's what an OS is, right? If you're just saying 444 covers everything, that's not really an OS. That's this I got a follow up that's going to cover everything. It's like Feng Wei. From what I'm understanding here, anytime Feng ends the juggle with forward 3-4, and then he dashes up and does 4 tilde 3, the head spring forward kick, if, you, if you're the one on the receiving end of that, if you do anything except tech into stand block, it's guaranteed. You have to tech into stand block, but because of the active frames of that move, he's always plus. He's always plus. So that's not really like an OS. That's just like really fucking good okay. I don't... That's not an OS. That's why you were confusing me when you explained that. I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> Feng, like I said, Feng has a... You know, that's still good, though. I mean, I was getting it off of the regular hit one, too. I don't think you need the... I don't think you need the counter hit. I think you just need to get used to the recovery of this. See? I got it. Plus two. Just like that. You just need to get used to the recovery timing, and you can still get it. Oop. I mean, they could probably hold back, so I don't know about that. Like, I recorded on myself. Let's see. The fucked up thing about Fangs is if he hits them on normal hit with that forward handspring, he gets as much as plus 13, and he can link a shoulder. But really, you want to link a fish up because your shoulder is unsafe and you're not 100% sure. But he can link a back four fish up for sure. I've shown this off already many, many times. I've even done it online against other people several times. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I'm even worse on Toopy's side. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The weird ass recovery. Plus one. Oh, plus two, sorry. Plus two. Oh, that's interesting. No matter which wake up I do, she's plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's like a weaker version of what Feng Wei gets. That's a good follow up there. I mean, you know. I'm getting ahead of myself because I haven't gotten to the quarter circle forward moves yet. Alright, so follow the heel to Chaos Judgment. We already confirmed. Uh, on block, it's pretty gimmicky. But on hit, I don't think she gets anything guaranteed, does she? Does she get the guaranteed on hit? Yeah, I did. 
But I prefer this. But I already know. That's my problem with that string. You see how the string turned her around? You don't know you don't know how you you know how good like how deep back turn you're gonna be. If you had like slightly off axis, there's a chance that she'll turn around and realign. There's a lot less of a chance of that happening with a simple one two one four because the one two one like is airtight. It jails. Of course if you need a mid option though. That's uh that's all there. So yeah, it doesn't look like she gets anything guaranteed here. I mean, if down 3-3 three, three doesn't pick up, then we're, we could be pretty confident here. Anna's alright. What's the combo for her back turn forward, forward 3? I don't know. Probably down 4-1 into some other bullshit. You gotta experiment. I'm not really the combo guy. It might just be worth like going right into forward three two because you're at the head, so her combos are going to be very different. But like the more you could delay your uh, your core screw, the better, because then you could dash up and end it with this, which is generally the ideal lender unless walls are involved. This is probably your ideal jungle lender always. Down back one delayed four. Down back one delayed four. Why? Well, this is why. Uh, It will always guarantee that the last hit does 13 damage. Always, 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 always. No matter how late into your juggle it is. Why? Because fuck you. That's why. Alright, so the Chaos Judgment transition on this sucks. Uh, forward, forward, one plus two. <coughs> oh, another variation, just like Nina has on her Blonde Bomb. More damage. Negative 9 instead of negative 18. I don't like this because you got to look for the stupid parting hands animation. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you won't know when it's safe or not. Uh, she can't charge it like Nina can. Does this one hit grounded like Nina's? Oh, because of pushback? That's some gimmicky shit. Don't fucking do that. That's like Shaheen doing down back 2 1 on block. It's a hop kick. It's a guy in my chat. I don't know if he's here not Fez. The few times I actually played online, I don't, I really don't like playing online. <laughs> I play offline with my friends, but um, the one time I ran some online on stream, I was like, dude, you're doing down back 2 1 with Shane to hop kick every time. The moment I, st I told him to stop doing that. <laughs> Apparently, that took that dude from, like, green, yellow ranks to, like, savior. Pretty, that's all that it took. I don't know. <laughs> you can ask him yourself when he's in here. He's like, the moment you told me that, it opened my eyes. So I was like, yeah. Go figure. Oh, why am I jumping? Oh, why are you pressing, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> Alright, so this one was cheap. Let's see the tracking. I'm gonna use the AI stepping now. Yep. 
okay, so it has some inherent tracking to her left. Yep. Mm -hmm. But like I said before, forward forward moves. Just hold forward a little bit longer, that's all that it takes. Of course you open yourself up to mash, that's the general idea. That's why tracking is still important, because you have an option to still track and not have to slow down your offense. That's what makes tracking important at a higher level of play. The lower level of play is just to kill sidesteppers, like anything else, without much thought put into it behind, be, beyond that. How do you approach people as Anna? How do you deal with pressure? Well, uh, I'll tell you this. If you're dealing with pressure as Anna, you're already doing it wrong. You uh, need to use movement and good defense to avoid pressure, and you need to force your pressure as Anna. By using things like uh, this on hits, this on hit, you could force your full cross mix up. This sort of too, but it's zero, so it's not as good as it used to be. This used to be a counter hit juggle starter. <coughs> this low. And she would mix it up with a safe on block sidestep mid launcher, um, which is still safe on block. Uh, but in general, uh, I don't know how good the high crush is on her down forward too. I don't think I tested that. Let me test that now. You have some panic buttons, I think. Let's try a single jab. Okay. So it's one of those weird ones where if they do jab, it's a jab pressure. She's negative, and it crushes the high pretty good, right? What about jab, it's a one-two? Did I try that already? I think I did. No, not even. But in a negative bomb block situation... That's what I hate about these evasive fucking moves. They work better in negative situations than they do when the character's in a positive situation. It's so lame. But whatever. So this is a pretty good, like, when you're on uh, on negative frames. This is a pretty good tool here. Light negative frames, not heavy. So that's a decent panic button, but it is risky for many reasons. It's unsafe on block. It's uh, weak to sidestep towards one side. I can't remember which at the moment. Uh, shit like that. Another decent panic move is this. So I talked about this before. This is a 16 frame counter hit juggle starter, right? But here's the thing. It tracks like a homing move. And the other thing is they have to hold back to block the second hit. If they're pressing sidestep buttons like crazy and you don't counter hit them, but they're pressing sidestep... The last thing you're thinking is, I need to hold back right now. And that means that even on normal hit, if you clip them sidestepping with this, there's a pretty decent chance that the second hit is going to smack them into the sky because they're not ready to hold back. You follow? It gets everybody. Every time you're always wondering, why did I, I didn't get counter hit? Why did I got hit? You always hear that shit. You probably heard other screamers playing online say, I blocked that shit. I didn't get counter hit. That's why. They weren't ready to hold back. They got caught clipped during movement. It, it happens all the fucking time. You know another move they always have is with Asuka's can-cans. Always. It's it's 14 frames. It's 14 frames. If you're not holding... And it's like 14 frames and the, and the second hit is like so fucking fast. It's like, pop, pop. You're not ready to hold back. You gotta hold back. You gotta hold back. Simple as that. Oh, yeah. I already talked about this thing earlier. But, like, this is like a 13 frame... Um, this is a 13 frame counter hit string, which is pretty fast, but if you're running, relying on a counter hit tool for keep out, always remember you got this, 11 frames. And when it counter hits, get your back four ready. So that's another thing. If somebody's pressuring you, for example, with this, you know, you'll see some people do a whole lot of this. You know, depending on the character, you might see a Kazumi do that over and over again. They're down forward one, right? Oh, I didn't record it. You could always interrupt that shit with this. And if they follow up with a jab, you'll exchange. You'll still knock them away from you. You won't get a free follow-up unless they're near the wall because she's too far away. But you knock them away from you. So this is a decent panic button. If they block it, though, you can't do shit. Don't move. Don't move. You're negative nine. 
so you can't sidestep. Did I say us? I meant uh, Kazumi, down forward one, yeah. Um, against good Heihachi players, but what's the Heihachi move that's blowing you up? You have a counter, by the way. Yeah, it could be chicken, but are they ready to chicken it? Are you getting fucked up by down forward three pressure? Because at the end of the day, it's not that the tool doesn't work. It's that your timing doesn't work if you're getting fucked up by down forward one pressure. You need the timing and the read. Basically, the timing based on the read. You know that, oh, this guy is going to jab into down forward one right now. Well, guess what? There's a gap for that there. Even if he does 1-1, one, one, it's an even bigger gap. There's always a gap, man. There's always, always a gap somewhere in there. You got to find the gap. Is he doing... You always have an answer. Is he doing uh, Heihachi's 1-1? One, one? Let's do 1-2 with that. Now. If he's doing Heihachi 1-1 one, one to size the down for 1-1, one, one, let's do 1-2. Same situation. Negative 1, I think, right? Yeah, negative 1. Same situation. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? What can we do to catch buttons? What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Maybe not that. Mm. You could sidestep with them. You could sidestep after they sidestep. And then launch them. I'm just showing you, like, tech and basics, though. I'm not showing you, like, Anna-specific stuff. You gotta know this, like, because Anna's, like, a normal Tekken character for the most part. She has normal movement. She doesn't have, like, great sidestepping, but she has average. Good enough. Oh. Uh, yeah. Down back two. Forward three. Mix up his timing with down forward one. Forward four. Well, then your problem is uh, not Anna specific. Your problem is you need to get the read on the timing. Down back two. I forget how it tracks. I haven't gone through Heihachi yet in this game. Uh, I don't know how good it tracks. So I don't really have an answer for you there. Of course you could just do this. <laughs> no joke. Just, just put pick that leg up for especially if he's doing it from spaced. Every once in a while just pop. <laughs> pop. And if it doesn't seem like he's reacting to that, by all means feel free to You know, you could attack out of that pretty fucking quick. So you don't have to just commit and stand there like a moron either. Don't get me wrong, you know? Don't forget that she has that cheap shit. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, this auto hop kicks lows automatically. Forward three is the knee. He doesn't really give up his pressure. Forward three, I think, is like negative two. Uh, the tracking on it is weird because it's a slow move. Do this real quick. I don't want to take too big of a detour here. <sighs> All right. I don't know. Let's see. Um, what's negative three for Heihachi? What's negative three for Heihachi? Now forward one, one is negative one, I think. Right? Negative two. That might be all right. Oh, what do you know? The way you should always sidestep Mishimas is the way you sidestep this move. It's a pretty big whiff, too. Oh, but he's changing up his timing. Well, then you change up your timing. You know? See? If he's changing up his timing. Oh, you could do it. There you go. Ooh, it's a little weird to do. But you get, you know, you get some practice in. You'll get it eventually.
What was what the other one? Forward three? How does this track? Mm, that's pretty good. Oh, that hit me, so I can't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is negative three. And it spaces him out pretty well. So you kind of have to hold that shit if you block this. But at the same time, you got to answer with a button eventually. This is 18 frames. So if it's a situation where like he has a good read on your magic four, use it at sparingly. If you if you if you have a good read, it's like he's definitely gonna use his fucking knee right now. He's gonna like dash up and do it or some shit. You know? You gotta be ready, because that knee is usually gonna come out in the neutral. It's not and it tracks quite well, but it usually comes out in the neutral. It doesn't come out after this block sequence. I'm just using this to test the tracking. You know? So if you block this, maybe don't a don't answer with buttons every time. If you do answer with a button, consider like a down forward three maybe. Down forward three two. But even then, I would be very careful. The whole thing about forward three is that he could step really well. It doesn't, you know. So you got to be careful. What else? What other move? What other move? Size of left back one two two. Yeah, I talked about that already last time. I don't think it's gonna beat that though. Yeah, it's not gonna beat that. <laughs> see, you wanna be careful with your side step buttons because of a move like this. So if you see this move coming out a lot, every once in a while you gotta just challenge him and be like, no, I'm not gonna let you do that shit. Or just challenge him with just pokes. Just challenge him with pokes. What's Heihashi going to do to you if you answer his down forward 1-1 one, one or his 1-1 one, one with a down forward 1-2 of your own? If he's not doing side step left electric, I think it's side step left. And he's just like, he's going to answer this with buttons. What scary shit is he really going to do to you? Right? And then with Anna, you have two really good ways to get in and force your own shit. You have this. And you have that. And they're both highs, but they're both plus on block. One is a homie move. Never forget that. They're not get off me tools, really. They're more like, I'm going to get in your face and I'm going to try to steal some damage right now. That's what these tools are. And if you happen to hit them, you get fucking follow-ups. So, you know, remember that too. You have to play unsafe as Anna in general. That's her main weakness because she sucks at block punishing and her get off me tools aren't are like quite unsafe, basically. So that's Anna in a nutshell. By the way, don't forget, you got the generic down four. That's 12 frames. And if he tries like size step electric, it's going to hit him. Right? He has to low parry to deal with this. He has to low parry. And we already talked about this before, but this, it's a chaos judgment plus one on hit. That's a 12 frame plus one low into stance. So if you want to start offense, that's another way to do it. Totally, you can do that. Down four poking everyone that's good does it. That's the secret. <laughs> Not just down, down four, down three. Also, generic down three. L look at Kudans. Anybody that has like good range on this, this is a popular low poke for a reason. Even though it's negative three on hit and negative seventeen on block, this shit is good. It tracks for like most of the cast. It tracks really well. That's why this tracks so well. So yeah, like you know. I gave you some ideas, I hope, but the general idea is, yeah, you got to take a risk, but that's his high-level tech, and it doesn't matter what character you're using. There is no easy get-off-me button, really. You may think that there is, but when you fight somebody that knows the matchup, you'll realize real quick it's not there anymore, you know? You just got to get the read on the move. It's like a fucking real fight. MMA, boxing, it's all about timing. All about using the right tool at the right time. It's not like, you know, it's not as much about forcing mix-ups as people think. Although Anna is more of a mix-up character than, than most. She could still play basic-ass moving around Tekken. 
And just some opponents that are good, good enough, will force you to play that way. And you, you got to get good at playing. Look at the way Mr. Nass play. It's so spare. Very rarely is he pressing button into button. It's almost never button into button. Very rarely is he even pressing button into sidestep button. It's like, I'm going to move around. I'm getting this one position. And I think you're going to get hit here. Or, sorry, you're going to get hit here, and then all of a sudden down forward two with Ryan, or back one, or knee with Ryan. He's like, it's all like neutral in naps. It's like almost all neutral. It's fucking crazy. That's an extreme example. I mean, not everybody's going to play like naps, obviously, but that's the ideal. You know? He could be a party animal like Prince's Ling, too, I suppose, but, you know, that's why he's as inconsistent as he is. And he hasn't won a tournament in forever. <laughs> so, you know. Well, I hope that helps. Would you consider Don 4 into side set cancel as a bad tool at a high level? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. I haven't really thought much about it because it's fake. Like the sidestep, the sidestep itself isn't good, the sidewalk is. This sidestep, you see how she's like not really moving much? Her regular sidestep is better. It's weird, I tried this when I was going through this move. And it, was, it really wasn't avoiding very well. You have to, like, delay what you do. Like, if you go, try to go right into this, for example, the sidestep will, like, lose out. But if you co fully commit to the sidestep and then do something, then it's okay. I think the bet, the good thing is this. That's the good shit. And then when you start doing this, that's, that's what opens up the other stuff. For example, maybe they'll get hit by the second hit of the punch. You know, the second hit. Because they try to press something. Now, there's no counter here properties, but if you get that to hit, you're plus six. You know? So, yeah. That's how you got to think about it. Same thing with here. With this. You know? You could sidestep cancel. You know? And then you could also go into Chaos Judgment. Now, this is not plus. So, this is very dangerous to do. But, because of the hesitation you cause. Right? Uh, because that's actually calls from this string or strings like that that punch into the kick. That's a counter hit string This that's a natural combo string that leaves you a plus nine You know what I'm saying because of shit like that You might get them to hesitate and then you can force a chaos structure mix up every once in a blue moon Very rarely you have to like get them to respect the kick first and every once in a while you can just do this and then it's only like what is it? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not plus two. The uh, Tekken bot is a little weird sometimes. I forgot what this was on block. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Um, there's another layer to this. You could get them to respect this if he doesn't duck this. But you could delay it. You could do a down four, three, two, delayed one, four. Because then... That punch, that third punch, or second punch in that string, into the kick is a counter hit juggle starter. Doesn't jail, but it's plus seven. It does jail if you do this fast. If you do it without any delay, then the two jabs jail. Same thing applies to this. I'm getting way off track here, but if you put the delay, you could set up that to be a counter hit bait. And it's plus seven if they don't duck it. All right. Let me get back to back on track here. All right, take it easy, you, 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 All right, and a top five move next on the list. We talked about this move a lot already. It's a cool looking move. It's a very good move. Yeah, no problem, man. I hope I helped at least, even if I helped at least a little, man. Just, I, I think you just gotta like think about it for a bit. Think about paying attention. Whoever you were fighting, if you're fighting that person consistently, because you, you're mentioning it's a good hate player. I think you just got to think about looking at what they're doing and beating what they're doing specifically rather than thinking about, I'm fighting Hey. Don't think about it that way. Think about I'm fighting this guy. He's playing Hey. He's doing these moves at these times. How do I beat those moves at those times? Some cases you got to interrupt, like the forward three. You don't have to, but you, sh you every once in a while you should challenge it. In other cases, you have to step at the right time. Maybe you want to challenge other cases a lot less. Remember, Hey Hachi doesn't have a magic four tool. He has a counter hit. I'm sorry. A normal hit confirm one one two knockdown. That is scary, but he doesn't have like a juggle, you know, at a very fast like you know, not you know he has like a fourteen frame electric, if the guy's really good, 
that's about it. Ah, all right. So. Uh, it's 9.50. Sidestep. Let's see how the tracking is on this. I have trouble doing this out of recovery, in case you couldn't tell from me dropping all his combos earlier. Oh man. It's hard to test this tracking because I'm trying to do it as fast as possible. Alright. I think it's fair to say it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I think you were supposed to sidewalk this left. And I think it matters more in in uh, distance, which is when you're gonna see this move more often. You're gonna see it from like back here. You're not gonna see it like up close like I'm doing it there. Even though it is a pretty fast move. Yeah, there it is. Sidewalk right. Alright. You may be able to step it right too, but it's quite difficult. But uh, I think this lose is pretty hard to sidewalk right. It does recover fairly fast, though, so if you got this to whip just during the neutral, you got to be ready to punish it. Alright, so it covers a lot of distance. Plus 5 on regular hit. Plus 2 on block. Did I say plus 5 before? I think I said plus 5 before. Plus 2 on block. I messed up when I said that. Plus 2. And, of course, on counter hit, juggle starter. So you got uh, 84, 84 damage. You could probably get better. I don't know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So we tested that. All right. Um, and you are right in their face when they block it. It's not one of those that doesn't really have much pushback or any pushback. So this is good. It's good. It's always been one of Anna's best moves. Really, really, really. Oop, burnt by accident. Really, 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 really good move. Really good. Magic force setup. A lot of shit you can do with that. Artemis Arrow. So we talked about this earlier. The uh, OS. <laughs> Just like Feng's, uh, you know, forward three, four juggle lender. You can always do a forward, forward, four. You got to get used to the recovery of this. But after this hits, you can always do a forward, forward, four. And if you time it right, you will always get it to be plus on block. Guaranteed if they stay down. Also, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's a raw hit confirm. Now, I'm not particularly good at this, but if you want to practice this, you set option uh, opponent action 2 to guard all, and number 1 to random guard. And this is how you test raw hit confirms. Right? Ooh, wrong button. Yep. Nope. Alright, well, I'm not good at it, but it's there. It's pretty tight. Uh, but it's there. I'm really bad at it. It's not no, like, uh, what do you, what is it, um, Claudio down forward 3 1 or down forward 3 2. Super hit confirmable strings. So, what is it on block? Negative 14. So you're going to want to hit confirm. But anyway, we're not done yet with this. Uh, the first hit is uh, negative 12. Second hit will be uh, interrupting the block punish. Oops. I didn't even realize that. I had a transition. Yeah, see? It'll interrupt you. But it'll just be a counter hit knockback. Nothing special. And then the first hit on counter hit is a juggle starter. Right? I don't know what the best pickup would be. Nope. Nope. Sure. Oh, two. I got to delay to get that bonus damage. 
Uh, are you Verdurchi? I did that with a few characters. I didn't put it up on YouTube, though. I have uh, stream archives, though, where I did that for a couple of characters. What is the tracking like on this thing? Oh my god, just like Core Circle 401, I have trouble with this. If I think if I were playing on pad, this would be a lot easier for me. But I haven't played on pad in forever. Oh my god. Alright, looks like it's good for that side. Ah. It looks like it's hitting her late enough for me to think that sidewalk will lose too. But let me not assume that. Yep, yeah, that looks slow though. So you want to sidewalk left, the opposite of this. So in general, we could say that's a pretty good tracking because like people generally don't commit to sidewalk unless they have a specific read. For example, like if a good player sees you abusing this as your main get-in tool, they're going to start sidewalking towards the fucking right, right? They're going to start sidewalking. <laughs> that's when they're going to, you know, that's when you fully commit to a sidewalk. You don't do a sidewalk otherwise, really. Unless you're trying to get away from the wall or shit like that. Uh, yeah, so it is delayable. So even if you don't, like, kick it for me, you could delay it some and still get the, uh, the follow-up to catch people pressing buttons. All right, so what's the deal here? Chaos Judgment. How slow. I'm pretty sure this is bad on block, yep. No surprise here, right? Okay, definitely plus on hit though. No. Uh Hawk kick is 15. All right, Hawk kick. Mm. So, plus two. Plus two on hits, very bad on block. I, I suppose the delay in a second hit could set up that chaos judgment too, but we're talking gimmicks at that point. Uh, that into stance change makes it safe. She cannot block in chaos judgment. Unless there's a trick that I don't know. I've tried cross dash cancel, but she can't cancel her cross dash. She has to commit to the full thing. She can't do it like dragging off O'Brien or even Nina. You can't tap up. So, Chaos Judgment, she cross dashes to beat highs. She could also roll to beat highs, and it'll beat some mids. <clears throat> she auto hot kicks low, so of course she beats lows, and she beats grabs. So, you gotta go mid, preferably a fast mid with a, a good hitbox. So, basically, if you're going into Chaos Judgment, you're committing to something. No if, ands, or buts about it. It's like Flamingo. Paralyzing Needle. Okay. I was wondering if she could do that from crouching. So that's another thing about Chaos Judgment. She could go pretty seamlessly into these moves. It probably like takes like a frame or two to slow the it, it'll, so it'll slow them down. But she does go pretty seamlessly into these moves. 
you have to press down forward like down forward tilde and then the button so in this case down forward tilde one that's how you want to do it not down forward plus one so for example this 16 frames all right so natural combo 16 frames uh this might be good for wall carries let's see Pretty decent for wall carry, but this is better for that, right? Because of the way it flips. All right. Yeah, that's a good wall ender for wall. I forgot to mention that. That's a good wall ender for wall carry. So it's a good combo ender for wall carry. Sorry. Um, Thirteen minus eight. Very delayable. Very delayable. Oh! We have a Claudio down forward three situation here. This is a good move. This is probably a move you need. You and the players never even thought about, is it? <laughs> Moves like this usually get ignored by, like, a lot of uh, people that just jump on these characters late. They don't think about these, this kind of thing. They just see mid high. They're like, oh, this sucks. There's a lot going on here. Um, first of all, this is extremely hit confirmable. See? I'm not good at it, but I can get it. Just because I'm not inherently good at hiccup firms i've actually never practiced hiccup firms like outside of when i would show it off on stream like oh this is a confirmable yeah see if you're you know you can totally get good at this though by just practicing it just like this and you'll get better and better at it just like you practice throw breaking you gotta really grind it but there's a lot of characters that have like hiccup firms does your tech about work well? Yeah. Uh, you could see it in the top middle, right? You should be able to see it. <laughs> Hit confirming harder than cross cancel. The hell no. Depends on the move. This move is one of the easiest ones so far. Claudio's down forward 3. Like I've been saying, Claudio's down forward 3-1. And I think down forward 3-2 are both super duper hit confirmable. Super duper. Super duper hit confirmable. And then she has the added bonus of, like, the delay on this not only being hit confirm, but also a counter hit thing. So people, like, might not want to swing after blocking this. And then it leaves her space. She doesn't move forward very much. See? So, yeah, it's negative 13, but, like, you got, like, a, re a reason for them to not swing after this. And then you can just kind of back off if, you know, if you don't, if you don't want to commit to anything. So that's pretty good. Dude, my reaction time is bad, too. That doesn't mean shit. That just means you got to put the work and get better at it. Do you have any idea how shitty my throw breaking was? And now, even before this game, I was getting finally getting good at it because I put work in. Just got to put the work in, man. You may have to put in more work than other people, but you, if you put it in, you will see the results. I guarantee it. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. All right. Uh... So this is good. Good damage. All right. Yeah, 39 damage. That's good. That's a good one. And it clearly wall splats. And I mean, you know, I could check if it jails, but I think it's safe to say it fucking jails. It's not gonna be like it'd be stupid if this shit I mean, it doesn't jail. It'd be stupid if this shit jailed. It'd be like a Katarina 4-4-2-4 forward, forward, forward situation again. All right, we got down uh, court circle forward 3-3-1 three, three, and 3-3-4. Three, three, ah, <laughs> all right, this is just like this. It's another way to go into this down forward 3-3 three, three string, right? Except it's more like you're going into the second kick, not uh, the, um, that kick, that last kick I just did there. The third kick, sorry, not the second kick. So, yeah. See? It's like you're going into that third kick. Eight damage. Yeah, exactly the same kick because the same follow-ups. 
Bam, or that. So, yep, see? It's a common thing with Anna and Nina. They have a bunch of ways to go into these strings. So the same properties. But. Okay. Yep, there it is. Which is why you want to delay it. So two reasons, pretty good ones, to not swing at that. Yes, they're both high though. Right. Yeah, they're both high. That's the only downside, really. That should be natural, not counter hit. Whatever. Can't have it all. Because then it's like, why do that over the fucking punch? Right? There's no reason to. You, you have access to this. It's way better than the other one. And you'll still get a wall splat on it. So the frame data is going to be the same. Right. The mid high is natural. Zero on a, on a, on a, blah, blah, blah. zero on hit. Pretty hit confirmable. Her down four three is like that too. Oh, okay. Now her down four she doesn't have the, the the two follow up like she does there, but that's pretty hit confirmable too. Yeah, hell yeah. Look at that. Look at all these hinker frames you have with Anna. Puh. Not that though. But you can tell the hinker from down forward 3 2 and Anna, just like Claudia. And course will go forward 3 2. And course will go forward 3 3. And down forward 3 3. Negative 9. Negative 6 with more pushback. Negative six at this distance doesn't matter. It might as well be zero. Piston kick. Oh, this move is fucked up. Pa -pa. This move is fucking weird. Yep, negative 12. This move is negative 12 on block, and she recovers crouching. See? So you need a 12 frame mid to consistently punish this. The spacing fucks it up, so your crouch jab isn't going to punish. Uh, I suppose a 12 frame low might punish it. So, one popular thing, for example, is I want to go mid and I want to go safe. Well, oh, sorry. That's pretty popular. I've definitely seen a lot of it. And it's decent reward on hit. Knock back at 24 damage. It's good. I believe when your back is pressed up against the wall, she's closer, but she's still crouching at negative 12. It's like, go ahead, punish it, you know? Uh, Kazumi and Jin and Heihachi, they'll all, and Kazuya actually, I think. Well, no, Kazuya's is really short range. But the other three will all punish it pretty good. I think, uh, Dragonov's down forward four punishes this pretty consistently. Oh, doesn't reach. Doesn't reach. And yes, it crushes highs, in case you were wondering. There's another reason why this is good. See? Even on block. Yeah, they want you to swing at crazy situations. That's... She has that going on. And she has the forced mix-ups going on. That's really all that Anna has going for her. That's why they could give her moves like... Moves like this. And it's not really that big a deal. You know? This is a fucking cheap move in most characters. In like a lot of other characters that they had a move like this. People would be whining, but Anna has it, and it's like, eh, it's not that big a deal, you know? It's not that big a deal. I mean, it's a good move. It's very good for her, but it's not as big a deal, because it just isn't. That's why you can give certain characters super cheap moves, and you keep them grounded. Now, I think this thing tracks funny, too, like, where because it's a double kick, you you could step around one of the kicks, but the second kick seems to always clip. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, see? Unless you fully walk. Yeah. So in general, you gotta go uh, to your right against this move. And you, if you want to avoid it completely, you're gonna have to walk. It's a huge whiff if you get around it, though. And yes, it wall splats. Because of course it fucking does. Bone Cutter! This is a shitty while running move. While running a uh, slash kick. See, alright, this is one of those where I need, like, uh. It's hard to get consistent frame data here because she lands on the floor, so Tekken Bot doesn't know how to deal with that. So I have to, like, test against wake up kicks. See what I could get. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, this just sucks. It's a punish. So, I mean, you know, not, not too many people are going to pick up with that. By the way, that picks up Eddie's uh, back 3-3 three, three on block, or a lot of his other capital, uh, his uh, relaxed transitions, the ones that are, like, negative 13, negative 14 and shit, he, she picks all of those up with down 4-1 into a combo, just like Nina. Um, yeah. Now, granted, it has to be a low that picks up, and not everybody has that, but, you know. No, that's a punish too, and that's 16 frames. Otherwise, people just get like stomps. Yeah, this just sucks. This is like old school. Like, they got rid of most of the female characters that have this. They changed them up. I think Lily's the only one that still retained this. Yeah, this move sucks. What's up, Romela? So yeah, that's a carryover, a fucking legacy move that is trash. It's trash. It's trash. Where are we at here? This is where we get to the good stuff for this character. This is the standout stuff. Uh, Anna has always historically been like the full crouch mix-up character, like the best. Like nobody, and it really stands out in this game more where they nerfed a lot of other full crouch mix-ups. While other characters, well, they're, it's, you you know, full crouch is always like, I have a low that's dangerous for some reason from crouching. A unique low, which means I can mix it up with any of the generic while standing mids or the fancy ones. Anna has the best one, obviously. It's obvious. She has that. So she can mix it up with whatever mid she wants, which is why it's nice that she has her down forward 1-2 um, out of crouching as while standing 1-2. That's better than you might think up front. Start from the top. While standing two, very slow, 18 frame, Kazumi style, while standing Punisher. Has a ton of range though. I don't know if she could do it out of a, uh, oh she can. So she could do her while standing moves using the old dragon off trick. Down, down, forward, and as long as you avoid the forward input, you'll get a crouch dash into your while standing move. You know? So, uh, not much to say here. I think this may be... Ooh, thanks for the follow. Oh, name I can't see. Frenzy Raptor. Now, this is slow. And it's negative 13. That sucks. I think it used to be negative 11. So, it sucks as a block punish. But it has a ton of range and a pretty good hitbox. And when she floats with it, she could still pick up with this. Which is nice. Not a lot of characters get uh, a float that they could follow up a float on their launcher while standing launcher that they could follow up into a full juggle Jin is like one of the few but uh, Bob but not everybody gets something like that she's one that does now let's test the tracking that's the important shit here I'm gonna test it with the AI let's do negative three see this is what's important Primo shit here. You gotta guess. Flip the coin. Take the guess. Yeah, it sucks when it gets blocked, but if you're forcing them to guess, does it really matter? It never mattered for Josie.
While standing three is 11 frames. Uh, the good thing about this, if you use it as an 11 frame block punish, much like martial law, she could transition into her stance. Now the thing is, I don't know how good this is. So if you don't want to do this, it's also more damage. So this is basically her true 11 frame punisher. It's zero on hit though. Her while standing four is plus five. Pretty much your standard generic while standing four. Whoops, we gotta hold back, right? Yeah, hold back. Let's see, is this up? Yeah, no shocker, it's plus. All right. Oh my God, I'm getting cross chats while I'm trying to hold down forward. Oh yeah, more than plus five on her chaos judgment transition here twenty seven frame low sixteen sure I'll try sixteen off off of that let's see okay uh what's a slower option here that's uh eighteen okay eighteen so not plus nine uh what's nineteen 19, 19, 19 frame mid. Uh, no, definitely not. Um, that low crushes though. Hmm. I'll try it. I think it low crushes too good. Yeah. <laughs> Back four. Oh yeah, you're right. I think it's 20. Yeah, that's 20, but I'll try it. Okay, so we know that she's at least plus eight here. I don't think she's low profiling. So she's at least plus eight, not plus nine. So I, I, I tested the plus nine situation before. So I think plus eight is where we're at. Our math is right, right? Yeah. Yeah, because that, that does not look active. It doesn't look like her foot is out there. It looks like she's getting interrupted. Let's test the tracking on this. I will use the AI again. Oh, nothing. Oh. Her left side is covered quite well here. What is it on block? I didn't test that. Negative 11. <laughs> All right. This might be only a block punish thing. Wait. Hmm. Negative two. No, negative three. I'm pretty sure I wasn't slow there. Ugh. Yeah, negative three. So definitely keep that to like 11 frame while standing punish status. Don't like use it as a mix up tool. I would go without generic while standing four for if you want 11 frame mix up tool. Uh, Cat thrusts. This is the one that Anna players were crying about when they saw the trailer. This used to be a normal hit juggle starter. Now it's a wall bounce. Right? And the reason they liked it is. I don't know if it was always safe, but I think it was less risky. That's why people used to like, oh, you know, she needs this. I'm like, fucking whatever. It's 22 frames, so it's always been pretty slow. I, don't, I, don't, I think it's always been 22 frames. Um, it does push back quite a bit, but I wouldn't bank on trying to like sidestep on this in this situation. I'll bank on backdashing, but maybe not so much sidestepping. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, not all characters can punish well. Yeah, it was the pushback, right? That's true. That's what it was. I remember it was something about this. That's why they like this fucking move. And it's like, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> I I, never, I don't like these, like, safe on block or situationally safe on block, like, mid-juggle starters. I hate that kind of shit. But whatever. This is now definitely guaranteed safe on block. It's prob it's slow, but if you're just forcing a, a mid-low mix-up and full crouch, this will be your most rewarding safe on block, op uh, safe on block mid option, probably. Uh, near the wall. 
Otherwise, that would probably be it. Because then you'll have mix-ups up front. I mean, you know, they're both pretty good still. But the on-block situation, if they guess mid, is much better with this. It's only negative three. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Yeah, it's pretty linear. Alright, good for her left side again. I forgot to test sidewalk on the other thing. Alright, it, it catches sidewalk. That's cool. Now, I don't know what her best wall bounce combo is. You'd have to test that yourself. Here's the other safer... Safer, but not safe, I think. Right, yep. Um, I don't know what this was before. It might have always been negative 14, but negative 14 seems to be a common thing for armor moves that give good, you know, have good properties to them that are mid usually. And this is no different. So they want you, much like with Lee's Hitman stance, they want to force you to use this to stop people from swinging at you to force your mix up, which is like, it's shitty. It was shitty for Lee. And no, it's not different for Anna. That doesn't mean it's not usable, but you know. So, for example, you have that as a tool in this situation. If you connect this, you're only zero. This side step two. It's a low hit hit where you recover crouching and zero. So you can do this if they press anything. That's not a low, basically. And if they press a low, even if it's a 12 frame low, you have while standing four to beat it out. So you kind of have to every once in a while press otherwise what i would suggest is if you're trying to feel out if you're going to play a couple matches against somebody trying to feel it out do this back that see how they react do this maybe while standing for once in a while you know do this i said do it again like dragon off see how they react and then go go from there i wouldn't just throw this out automatically he's gonna press you know i mean you can but it's unsafe Let's see how it tracks. Yep, it looks like it should track in that direction, and it does. By the way, uh, you could. F this has guaranteed follow-ups. I forgot to say. And we saw earlier that if you do this right after up four, three plus four, you will break the floor in Forbidden Realm. So that's a juggle starter. But she always had follow-ups after this. You uh, To get more damage off of the stop, you want to sidestep realign. Well, that's weird. Yeah, that's guaranteed still. Or you could sidestep three. Both guaranteed. Down back three plus four. Oh, yeah. Does it clean hit, though? If it doesn't clean hit, it doesn't matter. Okay, it clean hits. That's a good one. You want that clean hit damage bonus. You see? 100% instead of 80%. It's good shit. It all does the same damage though. It's always 18. So I guess pick your poison. Alright, so we're testing the tracking. Oh, we tested that way already. Oh yeah. Good one. Good one here. Alright, 20 frames. No surprise there. Yep. So it loses to walk in both directions. <laughs> what was it that had that beat out walk? I had something. Right? That beat out walk in that direction. The only the wall standing too. So you gotta like make your oh never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, that's unfortunate. Shit. That's unfortunate. So, sidewalk left seems to be everything so far. <laughs> Side set to her right, that bitch is dead. 
The classic. The classic best tournament advice ever. Alright. Well, let's have a look-see here. I'm sure we'll find something that tracks that outside. Hopefully, it's not only the low. So, full cost, uh, down. Mind you, if you go into this mix-up in, with plus, they're probably not going to sidestep shit. Like, you know, the Chaos Judgment 1 plus 2 on hit, up forward 3 plus 4 on hit, those kind of situations, I don't think they're going to step shit. It's sidewalk, actually. Oh my god, why am I getting that? See? She can't even start sidewalking. Alright. This is the big one. We talked about this several times. She stays in crouch during this, so she will not while standing into uh, highs. So if you're ducking under a, like a long high string, for example, lay snake jabs, the ch -ch -ch -ch, you could just punish with this. You don't have to wait till while standing punish him. Or like this. I'm oh, sorry. Strings like that. Strings like this that are all high, and you know that that are all high. You could just toss this out while you're ducking. The other the other thing I have to remind you is uh, you want to input down forward for. Otherwise, you're not going to pick up consistently or at all. If you input down 4 1, it's not going to pick up. Input down forward 4 1. Mm -hmm. Let's test the tracking. This is very bad on block, obviously. No shocker. Negative 21. Probably tracks to the other side, right? Nah. I'll be shocked that they made this like 100% linear. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Mm. Oh, by the way, from, from full crouch, she could still do down three, uh, two. Her counter hit launcher. Just a reminder. So this. That will beat out 12 frames or slower. And this. Yeah, this. Sorry. That will beat out while standing force. Still sidewalk to your right. Still, sidewalking right is where she has other shit that could catch you, so. But she needs a love. Mm. I mean, I suppose she has that too. That too. She could keep you still enough to force the mix up. Woo! Alright. Um, not to mention backdash. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. How could I forget? There's a just frame version of this move. If you input it as full cross down forward two tilde one. Here's what it does. This is the regular version. 14 damage. Uh, it does two big things. The, uh of the just frame version it does a lot more damage and she has way more range see there it is 21 damage way more range first of all let's see the regular version all right the regular version has a ton of range already that's the just frame version that's a lot of range a lot of range. Let's see if it has better tracking too. 
Good thing I just remembered that. So, yeah, it loses, so. Yeah, she makes the grunt sound. That's how you know it's the just frame. Oh, wow, she doesn't always make the grunt sound. Interesting. So it has the same tracking, it looks like. Wow, why is it not happening? Why am I not getting the bonus? Is it only on Axis? Weird. Okay. So it's just me fucking up. But, uh... I'm starting to wonder if they have to be on. Maybe they do have to be on axis for the damage. I'm not getting it. And I don't think it's my input. Yeah, it's not my input. Fucking weird. I know she's had this in stack too, so. Still, you, there's no reason to not input the two tilde one. If you're gonna do that low, do it every time. I don't think it has better frame data. Yeah. Always name the 21. Yeah, Tegabot registers it as a move. There it is. Yeah, Tegabot is registering it as down forward two, one. <laughs> Weird. I don't know if she has any unique pickups off of it. I've tried to mess around with it, but I couldn't find anything. It's still the, you know, full cross down 441. Woo! I'm losing steam here. Alright, uh. While crouching up forward 4. That's just another version of that shit. That's not a good pickup. That's only if you break the floor. You always want to pick up with this. Oh, sorry, not that. <laughs> oh, sorry, forgot. She recovers standing, so it's three things. The regular version, she recovers crouching. The just frame version, she recovers standing. That's just a tip. If you're forcing this mix-up, this shouldn't matter. Honestly, if you're hitting it from this far away, you're, I think you're kind of doing it wrong. This is a mix-up tool. This isn't a move you just throw out from back here. I mean, yeah, it has that range, but you know. I mean, I guess if you're throwing it out from back here, you can be cognizant that you're doing that and, and just do that instead, you know, or a stomp. I suppose she has mids that reach that far too, so it's not the worst thing in the world. So you can, but honestly, I would only force this up in their face. Because it's too risky. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. It's 20 frames, so it's unseeable, but, you know, you're going to full crouch and you want them to see that you're in full crouch. Gives them a reason to duck. I don't know what Tekken bot... What, I, I didn't even know that the team meant tracking, so... Yeah, I don't know what that means. Is it like a grade for the tracking? I don't know. It has to be reading something. So, you can do the super unsafe somersault kick. <laughs> Negative 33. It sucks. I don't know why you would ever do it, but it's there.
and that version two, which is a negative 18 on block 18 frame launcher. So you could do that when you have this. I don't, you know, why would you? I don't know. It's, it's linear too. And the range is shit. It's trash. Don't do it. We've seen enough. Hmm. All right, we're gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at these three, and then I'm gonna call it a night because I gotta work early tomorrow. And then part three will be grabs, all this shit, and uh, wall stuff, more wall stuff, and yeah, and post grab Oki. Okay. All right. Here's a move that got nerfed: Chaos Tail. So I talked about this a couple times already. Before this was a counter hit jungle starter. Now. She's plus one on counter hit, which is funny. Um, I don't think it forces crouch. But yeah, 12 damage, normal hit. 14 on counter hit. So yeah, this move sucks now. Why well, does it suck? That's, that's harsh. It's kind of whatever. What is it on block? That's what was going to matter for the most. It's only negative 12. I wish it were negative 11, but that's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I don't know how good it is at crushing highs. Hmm. The startup doesn't crush highs. But if you if you see when I, I slice them away from the first jab, and I go under the second, so... If you get the start, you know, the startup to avoid, because it's a size to move, the startup to avoid the first initial high, you're probably going to crush the next one, so. It's alright. It's alright. But what was so good is, if people did this into one, two, you would go under and counter hit them, and then you would get a juggle. That's why this one used to be so good. Now it's like a very weak way to go into full crouch. Negative 12. But it is a sidestep move, so sidestep moves are always, like, really good at tracking, kind of. Because you have to sidestep at weird... If they are linear, you have to sidestep at weird times. But, in this case... Yeah, in this case, this is, like, pretty absolute. Ah, ha, ha. not quite. So it has some inherent tracking to her left side. But as you as you can see, if I size up instantly, woo, wow, that's quite linear. Shit. So if you size up to your, if you're the Anna player, and you size up to your right and do this, it's gonna beat both directions because you're realigning. See? The uh, range also looks bad on this. Oh, wow. Phantom hitbox on this thing. Damn. It doesn't even look like she's touching me. Alright, well, the range is pretty solid, but I think you could make this whiff. If you got some spacing already... Can make that whiff. That was not a punish. That was too slow. Um, I was too slow. All right, side step three. All right, does that hit grounded? Yeah. Ugh. No, no hit grounded. Mm -hmm. Wide open is grounded. If you need a low. Oh, yeah, let me test, uh... Okay, thought so. Because of the ass. Fat ass. No pants spends way too much fucking time doing the, uh... What's, uh, what's it called? The NVIDIA thing where you take screenshots at any camera angle? Ansel? That motherfucker is in Tekken 
all day doing that shit. If you're in a Discord, all he does is like, every once he posts a new picture of a dumbass angle of somebody staring at Anna's ass. I'm like, dude, just fucking look up a damn hentai, you fucking pervert. Thirsty fuck, boy. So this move is mainly an Oki tool, but man, plus eight on hit. That's good. It might be good outside of that. Oh, yes. Good shit. Stomp the shit out of him. No pickup, right? Nope. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's a floor break move, too. Floor break setup on counter here. Quite nice. Oh, plus four. This is a good move. Oof. This is not only an Oki tool. That's a good move. And it comes out pretty fast. Plus four? That's a good move. Well, 21 isn't really fast, but faster than you would think, considering how it looks. Um, yeah, it's pretty linear as I thought. So, it seems like you want to go the opposite way that she goes, kind of? Yep, you want to go the opposite direction. And you probably want to step guard just in case. <laughs> Damn, that's quite a beefy hitbox on that. Ah, oh, the range is better than I thought. Yeah, oof. That's a good move. That's a really good move. That's pretty good at the wall. Yep, no surprise there. Just like the beef on her ass. Oh, yeah, did you guys know that uh, the ass... You see that pushback on block? I think she still has that at the wall. So it's negative 16, but, you know... You know what I'm saying. Alright, bloody chaos. This is the cheap shit. Pa pa! Negative four. Launcher. Pa pa! 19 frames. The damage is low because the second hit is. Uh, well, the second hit is good, actually. 14 damage for 70%, but it takes you 70% scaling. Still, a good move. Do I need? Do I really need to explain why this is a good move, or is it not obvious? So it's too slow for you to sidestep and react to something, but it's not a move that you use that way. It's a move that you just commit to. Much like sidestep two, it crushes highs, but it crushes highs a little late into it. See? Let's say she moves a little bit more to her right too during it. Maybe it's not truly a high crush, but it's negative four on block. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Why is this negative four on block? Because Tekken. Shit, so cheap. Now the range is shit. This is one that you want to back dash when you think it's coming. Even if the first it hits you by itself, she gets a uh, juggle. That's just wild. Oh, she do got it. Damn 
Damn it. I don't think it's... It's not. She, doesn't, she recovers too slow. A loss is hot, but she recovers too slow to get the best damage. Wow, I got it there. Hey, literally, I was going to get it. Hey, you need more hits to do that. Should be a, a you're right, Pimp Mitsu. Pimp Mitsu. I agree. I hate when they do shit like this. Negative four? Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let her sidestep after that is blocked? You're gonna let her do shit like this? Into this? You let her do that? She's always it's always been like this, I think, but fucked up, dude. Are you kidding me? How are you gonna let her do that? How are you gonna let her do that? So if I press one, two, I get launched. Not for one, thankfully, because it's slow. Not for one tracks. But if I do one, two, my ass is going to the sky. If I do a standing four, I'm fucked because it recovers slow. Standing fours used to recover a lot faster before Tekken Tag 2. Tekken Tag 2 was the big standing four nerf. The big magic four nerf. Yeah, this is Kuza's theme from Yakuza Zero. <laughs> that should take me up to Red Ranks. <laughs> oh, man. You're not wrong. She does kind of need all the frames she can get in a way because she's like... Like I said, she's an offensive-based character. So that's really why she, you could get away with giving her something like this and it's not that big a deal. It's a big deal if you put this on other characters, certain other characters, that it's like, what the fuck? You know, but honestly, it, it hurts losing the threat of this counter hit makes this weaker. It makes the launch, the sidestep launch weaker. It really does. So now she has to like to get any good lows. She has to do this or hopefully the opponent can't see this. You know, <laughs> honestly, how dangerous Anna is betting on who she's fighting, in my opinion, depends on how good the opponent is at seeing this. And blocking, uh, block punishing this properly. Those two things. If they're if they're able to see this, and launch this like most of the time, Anna's gonna have a very hard time. A very hard time. But if they can't, you know, if they if they're hitting you a while standing four when they block this, you know, <laughs> then Anna is gonna be a fucking nightmare for them. It all hinges on that, in my opinion. All right, I've been at it for like four, four, four twenty, haha, four hours and twenty minutes, and I gotta wake up at like five thirty a.m. So I gotta go to sleep. Unfortunately, it's Monday tomorrow. If only she had Nina's down too. Yeah, sure, cause she needs it. <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope you all learned some good shit. I know I did. We're almost done. Next time, I don't know when it's going to be yet, because I'm always exhausted during the work week. Last week, I had to do a bunch of overtime, which is why I didn't stream much. And I already know next week, I'm going to have a lot of overtime, too. So, Ooh, I don't know. Is there anybody uh, to host? But, you know, uh, next time, I probably will probably be Yakuza again. And soon enough, if you follow me on the Twitter, I will let you guys know when I will do this. I always put up there when I stream in general. Nobody's really streaming. So I guess I'm just going away. All right. All right. Well, you all have a good night. All right. I appreciate you guys tuning in to this boring, boring old lab work. But hey, somebody's got to do it, right? And yes, I will be uploading this to the YouTube. If you scroll down, you'll see the link. Or I could just paste it here. That's a link, too. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good night. Where's the camera? There it is.